That was one of the many songs that Nick Elward's done that's made it into a game that then never came out. Um, he's doing music for Hat in Time. That game's happening, so that's exciting. Uh, congratulations, Nick. Give me just a second. Zero viewers. Okay. I mean, that happens, and it's the start of a stream. I, I threw the word out there, and things will happen. And what do you mean, zero viewers? I'm here. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, welcome, Jason. Can I just refresh this window specifically? I can. There it goes. That's weird. Twitch was telling me there's zero, zero viewers, which it's never done before, even when there have been, like, nobody. So, that's interesting. That's different. Thank you for showing up, especially because uh, TRG Coliseum is happening, and they're trying to raise money for direct relief. And they're already, like, ten grand. and They've been alive for an hour, and they're doing this for, like, 
four days. The runaway guys are gonna raise like easily 150k if I had to guess. They're trending, which is cool. Um, welcome to the stream. We're here for Minecraft, and we're here to ignore the trader and his horrible deals. The wandering trader just like also needs to like be able to buy things from you. He doesn't do that, so it's just it's a waste adventure. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is vanilla Minecraft, right? It is. This is 1.14. There's been some changes in 1.14. Um, we started this stream play with 1.13, and I had a, a shader pack. Don't have that now because it doesn't work. I've had new versions of Minecraft just seemingly make it look like a mod. There's also a new texture pack. This is um, this is what the game's vanilla textures are going to look like. They've, they've done some changes. Everything's a little more artsy. The Wandering Trader is new to 1.14. 1.14 is, is big on villages. And I, I partially appreciate that, but I also hate that it's kind of broken how I like to play um, hardcore, because I'd play super flat and you just run from village to village. Can't do that anymore. I mean, you can't. What is happening to that squid? Oh, that was sad. I mean, you can. You still can run from village to village. But the villages themselves aren't... They're smaller now. That was sad. I don't know what happened to that squid. But... Um, with 1.14, the villages are a little different. There's, like, different types of buildings. There's a greater variety of buildings. And more buildings have chests. But the big problem is uh, blacksmiths are way less common. So when you're playing the super flat hardcore, normally, like, one out of every, like, four villages would have a blacksmith. But now it's, like, one out of every ten. Because it's more likely they'll have, like, a Fletcher, or <laughs> a bunch of cartographers. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. What the heck? Hi. Hello, Fishy. Um, you might not like what we're doing at the moment, but... Um, what is up with the string on the fishing rod? What is that? What, a bone? I got a bone. Okay. And another fishing rod in decent condition. Crazy. So this just paid for itself. Um, as always with these streams, I feel like I need to take a few moments here to talk about um, Payday 2. Especially now that the final episode of the Starter Guide is out. There are two more scripted videos in like three or four. Either way, I firmly believe that 1.8 was the best version of Minecraft. It added just enough without being too weird and random. I played some of the new versions, none of them suited my fancy. Even I even looked through the patch notes, and it seems like it just feels like a mod now when vanilla Minecraft should certainly be simple and only improved upon more with just with mods. I've been playing since Alpha 1.2. Um, I almost feel like the adventure update was... So... Beta 1.8, I don't know about the full version 1.8, but Beta 1.8 was the adventure update, which added the, uh, that added the end, that added the ability to sprint, you could eat the food to restore your hunger meter, before then it was just for health, um, so, th uh, 1.8 Beta did a bunch of that type of stuff, I don't remember, I don't know what full version 1.8 did, and if we're not talking about the full version 1.8, then... 
that's whatever. I feel like, in my opinion, 1.13 was an update that absolutely needed to happen. I like the additions to... I like the additions to the oceans. Things like the kelp and the fish are nice. Um, 1.14 has a lot of good stuff in it, too. Um, there's crossbows. I like the crossbows. The new textures have grown on me. I appreciate them a lot now. Especially because it makes the game feel, you know, like a game that <laughs> Microsoft has put a lot of money into. Um, everything kind of feels a little more crisp. A little more professional. The, the, the roaming trader guy, I'm not too keen on some of the changes to the villages or whatever. Um... The pillagers being an endlessly respawning like group of characters that hang around like bases and watchtowers is weird. There, okay, there are a lot of questionable decisions that they've made, but in my personal opinion, most, uh, like if you had to draw a line of best fit, Minecraft has continuously gotten a little better over time. Um, there's a lot of things that are really really good in almost every update and there's a lot of things that just aren't but for the most part you can avoid a lot of the stuff that isn't that great was that a bull that was a bull um you know if you don't like horses you don't need to tame horses if you don't like if you don't like bamboo you don't need to collect bamboo if you don't like pandas you literally don't don't ever need to deal with pandas. Now, there are places where that can... Um, 1.8 was just before Alatria dual wielding the new mobs, etc. I'm just going to, real quick, we're just going to pause this. I feel like Java Edition 1.8, the Bountiful update. This one, okay. Um, okay, this is when they added the the different types of stone. This is when they added Prismarine. This is when they added Slime Blocks, Sponges, uh, Guardians, Rabbits. Okay. Endermites. Elder Garden, Guardians. I just believe that Minecraft is more of a charm when it was simply just the simplicity of being the game and that's it. It was a canvas to be built upon. For sure, um, there is there is a kind there is a trend like the simpler a game is, the more like the more it feels like a canvas, but the more there is in a game, then the more it can kind of stand on its own. Uh, to me, like Minecraft Minecraft goes both ways to me. It's like it, it totally should be, like, a sandbox of new ideas. Um, like, a place where it's, like, you can do, you know, like, whatever you need. If you're going to build, like... If you want to build something, you can just build it, and... There, there's a thought in here somewhere. I guarantee. Um... But with my, like, older versions of Minecraft, you had fewer options. That kind of gave you more flexibility. And the more specific they've gotten with Minecraft, the more of a particular type of game and the more of a particular type of just alt it enforces. Things like these guys kind of make the game feel more like an RPG of sorts. And I guess there is nothing inherently wrong with that. Okay. I don't know if he needed to do that, do that. I don't like this guy. I don't think they handled the, the trader all that well. But I guess that's neither here nor there. The game underneath is still the same. Oh, 
Christ. Don't be in the house. I don't think they handled the the traitor well. And in the background going, ha ha. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Alright. We're trying to see if Dan can join in. It, at the moment, he's got other things to work on, but... If he can, that'd be cool. Fish, I don't get why you put his name in quotes. Dan's been in a bunch of the videos before. Dan's done videos without me. There is at least one video on source code where Dan makes like a physical appearance. Dan is like absolutely a real person. I don't get the quotes. Um, backing up though. Dan is not a creature. Dan is a hypothetical entity. No, that's Jake. Dan's a real person. Jake isn't. Um, I think for me, they should mostly improve and add new biomes and logical dimensions like the ether. I'm actually impressed they didn't do anything like that, but at the same... God dang it, guys. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Cool! Okay! What the heck was that? I guess I gotta go get my stuff. Those are th they just wander around the map. And they disable your shield. Where is my stuff? They better not have picked it all up. Oh, I see it all. Don't. Don't. I said don't. Okay, shovel, I've got these, which I don't know what to do with at the moment. Okay, getting things back in order. That's about as in order as they'll get. Where'd they go? Oh, they're all over there now. I guess I'm not cursed. Are those pants? No. Well then. Oh, that was their banner. How to handle Minecraft after 1.8 is simply adding more building options such as blocks, biomes, types of wood. Um... I guess that's fair. I, I like what they did with the villages. I don't like the, the pillage part. I don't think that's been handled even in a manner that one could even identify as being alright. It's it's jank. And I think like there's proof enough that it's jank because I do need I do need new armor eventually. But we also need diamonds and we need books. Oh that was the other thing. I need books. Um, I just, I don't like the idea of those guys just roaming around. I like how they just shot themselves if you deflected the arrow with your shield. Oh, it's so easy to trigger the, the pillagers into infighting. 
because you just line them up. They'll stand, like, in a row and shoot the guy in front of them trying to shoot you. And then they'll turn around and fight each other. It's it's ridiculous. And you still sell nothing. The thing with Pillagers is that it simply turns Minecraft or other chill game into a micromanagement mess at times because you have to protect your villagers from some madmen with crossbows. That's that's a very fair criticism. I'll give you that one. Um, and, like, I didn't mind the Vindicators, which were the, the Pillagers with the axes, um, back when they were just in the... The mansions. I don't mind them there at all. I feel like having them there is kind of neat, I guess is an okay word for it. Because it kind of makes running into them that much, um, that much more of, like, an interesting gameplay moment. You go into the Woodland Mansion, and there's just a bunch of these, like, evil villagers with axes that can destroy your shield super quickly. It's, it's strange and off-putting, almost cultish in a way, which really ties into the fact that, like, they have the invokers who are actual, like, cultists who can summon little, like, creatures, it's weird, but, like, it works. And because it's buried way out in the woods, I had to travel, like, I think it was, like, 15 or 20 kilometers just to find one in um, back at Xanadu. That was, like, a week's worth of travel. And it was, you know, absolutely wild. Let's put those away. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I got a fourth one of these. Um, but, like, running into one of the mansions was kind of a rare feat. And then you'd go in and you'd have characters that you wouldn't see anywhere else. And you'd have these, like, actual, like, puzzles to solve. And it was, like, it was fascinating. And it was... It was just cool. But now they're just kind of strewn around the world, running in straight lines, appearing from nether portals for some reason. Um, and it kind of lessens that impact. It's no longer like a, whoa. It's more of like a, oh. And there isn't anything in, implicitly wrong with the execution. It's just, eh. it's one of those things I will agree with most people could have been handled better. I don't mind them trying to give like Minecraft actual antagonists. I mean, I mind, but like making it like the villages have a threat that the player can help them deal with is an okay way to handle it. Okay being the keyword. The end result, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if 1.14 handled it well. And I think the cornerstone of all of that is the fact that um, there's like cartography tables and um, stone worker tables and fletching tables to do like all of these different like professions so like a villager at a fletching table will I don't need to harvest the sugar cane did, did I? Yeah I've got a ton of paper I need leather which is why we have the cow farm okay you know what we'll go plant this but like they're um did I shave that tree down? I must have. Well, 
But like the villagers can work at fletching tables and they become fletchers who build arrows and they trade you arrows and bows. Stuff like that. I don't mind that. Where I mind it though is the fact that the fletching table is... Uh, but the fletching table... Oh cool. Is... You can't, like, I can't use it. Only villagers can. And that's a, that's a problem they're aware of, and they're just going to fix eventually. Is essentially what it sounds like. They don't have plans to do anything about it now. It's, for now, a useless block to human players, but the villagers can use it. And then in a later update, they'll have a use for players. Which, if it's anything like the stonecutter table, and it probably will be, it's going to be a canned crafting table that only does specific things. So you go up to it, and it's like, well, you can turn your sticks and flint and feathers into arrows. You can build the specialty arrows... Stuff like that. <clears throat> but that table will only do that, and there'll probably be some sort of discount. Like if you build, um, like you get 10% extra arrows. Are you still here? You've been here for two days. Special arrows, you mean like the potion arrows? Well, there's those. There's the, the golden arrows that like leave like a detecting, they like detect players. I don't, I can't think of the word for that one right now. This, I think it's just spectral arrow. It's like you use like, like gold nuggets or glowstone or something. And it makes an arrow that can detect players. Totally forgot about those. Um, but maybe you could build uh, the lingering arrows instead of having to shoot the, um, the affected arrows into um, lingering potion. It, like something like that is... That's probably what they're going to end up do. That's probably what they're going to end up doing with the fletching table. And there's a whole bunch of other ones like that. I'm waiting for the new final boss of Minecraft to be introduced as Dallas the Muncher of Golden Apples. It's just the high res mo it's just a high res model of Houston from Payday 2. Like not blocky or anything. It's just it's just the model of Houston from Payday 2. And he's got a gun that shoots actual bullets. That kill the Minecraft player in two hits. And the moment he spawns, it overrides the music to Don't Act Dumb. Yeah, it's it's like... It's the render model. Like um, uh, how the artist who did like Jiro and Sydney and Bonnie built like the super crazy high-res uh, render models to build the gameplay model off of. I think she also did Jimmy. Yeah. It's like that type of a model. But just... In Minecraft. I'm trying to find like a new cave to try to find. It doesn't have any animations. It just T-poses at you. As you deal damage. The anime. Uh, as you deal damage. The music gets faster. Needs to be something. So it starts at like normal speed, but as you deal damage, don't act dumb gets quicker and quicker until as Houston dies, it's at like four times its normal speed and it's just going crazy. As you deal damage, it actually gets animations. Okay, with that in mind, it starts as a, like, the, like a Minecraft model. Like next to no polygons. But as you damage Houston, the model gets higher and higher quality. Until as he's, like, dying, it's like a super crazy high-resolution model. Don't act dumb, but every time Houston gets hurt, it gets faster. <laughs> what is happening? Y'all wanna... Y'all wanna figure it out? We done? We finished? No? Okay, cool. 
the low poly model is nine ninety nine. Is your Houston just not polygonal enough? Quite the contrary. It's too poly it's too polygonal. Then get the low Oh no, it's the okay. Now it's becoming an infomercial. Is your Houston too pol Is your Houston too polygonal? No. It yeah, wait. I'm 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 lost in my own sentence. Hold on. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, insert ad. You just called Houston flat. Houston has too many polygons. Well, here's something to help fix that. It's got too many polygons. It's like the, the two billion poly... Um, the two billion um, triangle AA12 in Hunt Down the Freeman. When Houston spawns, it almost crashes your game and melts your computer. And if you want to fix that, you have to buy the low-res model for a whole bunch of money. There we go. Uh, we figured it out, I think. Yeah. I'm just going to stop trying to sell it as an infomercial, because I can't... I can't think of the joke and say the joke at the same time at the moment. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get into my my uh, my Houston voice. Hot dog, hot dog, State Street, don't act dumb. All right, Bane, I'm trying to get into Minecraft, but I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my polygons keeps alerting me. <laughs> no, don't shoot me. Don't, don't squeeze it. Don't make a squirt noise at me either. Doll, no. Yeah, come here. Yep. Oh, it's a whole jamboree. It's like the Justice League of Minecraft m mobs from the Alpha days. Back when there were only three enemies. Oh god, there's a lot of zombies. Where'd y'all come from? Little one too? You know what? I'm, I'm actually, like, I, my question's answered. This is bad. Shit. 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 Oh god, that was so far away and I need a boat! <laughs> Damn it. All my food's down there. Wait, not all my food. Where's my... Did I make bread? Where's my food? I have melons. I have berries. You had two sandbox keys to climb up. I did, but I was cornered. I, I, I like... like I'm going to run if I need to get away. And I didn't have room to run because I was cornered. That sucked. All right. Where's my food? Over a stack of carrots. I was looking for, like, meat or bread. People like carrots. I get it. But carrots don't have the saturation value I, I want. And there totally was a spawner. There, there, that, was a, that was a zombie dungeon. But I couldn't get to it. Because, again, I was cornered. I need a healing... I had jump potion! No, I didn't. No, that's rabbit's foot. I had speed potion. That doesn't help. And you grabbed no sword. No, I'm just gonna grab that sword again. <laughs> okay, I see the point. But that was a diamond sword. I... I should have built a pick. We'll figure it out. Maybe Minecraft needs hamsters. 
What if the first thing you grab will be your pants? That's fine. Right click and then they're equipped. Good to go. That's a problem that solves itself. I don't know if Minecraft needs hamsters. Hamsters need a purpose if we're going to have hamsters in Minecraft. Because most other like things in this game have a purpose, except for um, bats, which are just kind of set dressing. Looks at ocelots. Okay, that took a while. Don't ocelots scare away creepers like cats? They do. There you go. All right. I do see a problem now, but we'll figure this out. By the end of this, I'm going to have like seven boats. That dungeon is super close. Okay. Don't make that noise at me, Mr. Dungeon. I know all your tricks. Okay. Well, the good news is nothing had spawned. All right, let's... There we go. Throw that in the offhand. Ocelots for creepers are like technology to old men. Imagine Payday with the darkest dungeon narrator. I don't know who that is, so I can't. Ah, uh, that's going to be a little bit of a... How? How? Stop. I should really play Darkest Dungeon. I'm always afraid to play like those types of games because I'm not good at video game. Bane of Arthropods. Ha. Huh. Oh, Cat. I like that album. Uh, I don't like the noises I'm hearing. He's a lot closer now, isn't he? No. Don't make that noise at me. If you, like, have a laptop and you're on the go, it's very light and fun. I have to get out over getting destroyed. It's not hard. It requires either a lot of wiki searching or muscle memory. Sounds like every other roguelike that people have tried to tell me I would have enjoyed and then I don't. And they're like, well, because you didn't, you got to play it this way, which is not the way I typically want to play video games. So, so that's kind of what happened with Mr. Rain and the Binding of Isaac. It's like, oh, it's great. And then I play it and then I don't have a good time. And it's like, well, it's great because you die a lot. And it's like, is that great? It's great for a very select, like, sum of people. And sometimes that's not me. Um, I don't know how we're getting back. I'm not going to take this other chest. There was nothing down here. I was hoping this would keep going. Now, what was the... Um, I need to read that original post again. Payday with the Darkest Dungeon narrator? I'm thinking Payday with uh, the guy who narrated the Crawl trailers. That guy's got an amazing voice, and those trailers are amazing. If you haven't seen them, we might actually we, we might actually just pull one up because they're they're good. We have to get home because we got a whole bunch of stuff. We'll come back here. Hopefully. I'm just gonna, you know, light this up. Okay. Imagine Payday narrated by Morgan Freeman or better Yoda. 
Police assault there is. Mm. Then it starts playing Don't Act Dumb. Custody, Ethan is. Mm. I don't know what Star Wars sounds like. You mean Crawl, the game? Yes. Crawl. It's the, the four-player dungeon crawler game. With um, um, one person is all the monsters and the other pe person isn't. So it's, it's a great game. And its soundtrack is... Or it's not its soundtrack, but its narrator is insane. Follow for follow. Um, I kind of just follow like the Twitch streams I usually watch, which is like Proton John and that type of stuff. Hamza. I appreciate the offer, but like I like I only watch a few streams on Twitch, and the streams I watch are the ones I follow. I listen Dark and Darkest Dungeons narrator sounds like him, but deeper. So Darkest Dungeons narrator is also like equally unhinged, because the crawl narrator in like some of the later trailers, especially like the Switch one, the Switch trailer is absolutely insane, and I love it. Swish. Where's house? House is still this way. Shot in head! I have been in need of... In need of medical attention? I am fucking up. Bane is... Hmm. I don't actually know what Star Wars is about. Oh, you're looking at the launch trailer. Launch trailer is still really good. That's probably like one of my favorite game trailers ever. But the Switch trailer is absolutely insane. Especially, like, near the end. Oh, Speed 2 is done. Alright. Let's roll. Is that water again? I turned a potion into water. I am reverse Jesus. God, I love speed too. <laughs> Star Wars is basically about clone troopers being 500% cooler than most Jedi in like half the cases. I don't like... All I know about Star Wars is it was... They had all these like World War II like props and they made a movie that wasn't World War II out of them by just slapping plastic to them. I, I don't know if I'll ever... I don't know if I'll ever watch Star Wars. And it's also because I don't like uh, Walt Disney Company. They own too much. And they're using owning too much as leverage to be like, well, we have all these, like, beloved properties. Let's... Can we get more? House. House. Thank you. Watch the 2003 animated series if you get bored. It's pretty cool, and I think it's the first time Grievous was introduced. Huh. Star Wars just doesn't do anything for me. It's not really something I can appreciate. I guess that's not the right wording. It's not something I... I don't know. I don't know the right wording. Disney owns too much and it makes me sad. And like, I'm, I'm trying to like literally cut Disney from my life. And so far it hasn't been impossible. Like, I want to finish Star. I want to... What was that noise? I'm going to hope that wasn't an Enderman that just tried to break in. Um, he's not allowed. But I want to finish... I want to finish Star. DuckTales... I'll at least finish this season. And then I'm done. Nothing else from the company. Star Wars 7 Plus. Yeah, but they own the other ones now, too. And I just... I... Okay, I feel like... By this point, 
everything has ripped off Star Wars enough that I can probably assemble together a decent enough idea as to what happens in Star Wars just based on the things I've seen. If that makes sense. Like, everybody's done Star Wars parodies. Did you like that uh, 2 million IQ um, tool building that I kind of screwed up? My, the 5 million IQ. Or do other people do that? Other people probably do that. I like doing it. All right. There definitely was more stuff that way, though. Let's grab that. Put that there. He's still here. It's about a boy that gets indoctrinated by a religious group to commit acts of terrorism against the government. What, the life of Walt Disney? Sounds about right, given what they've done in the public domain. Yeah, you know, you own the rights to something for 20 years, and if you're not using it after 20 years, then that becomes the property of the public, and then anybody can make a spin on it. And then here comes Walt, and he's like, Nope! My story about a mouse driving a boat should live forever in my company's hands. You have a sword for this villager problem. I don't know if I just want to go killing a man because he hangs around my house trying to sell me things at horrible prices. It's like there's more... There's bigger atrocities in the world than there's a guy hanging around my house trying to sell me things. You can take a hole with water at the bottom and throw him in. Fish, this sounds like the prison you tried to pitch. He's trying to sell you Old Spice deodorants. Uh, it's more like he's trying to sell the schnitzel with noodles um, Yankee candle. It's like nobody really wants that. And the price you're asking is ridiculous. It's like, even if there was a buyer. Fishy, in reality, is just like the modern version of Stalin. Fish is... Fish is like a Bond villain if James Bond became a cartoon. It's like, his plans are so over-the-top ridiculous. And it's like, to kill somebody through the effort we're talking about, it'd just be easier to do anything else. Are we at diamond level? Kind of. We're at like 11. So I'm just gonna... Does he have a very sharp hat? Everybody in a James Bond cartoon, I, in my opinion, should just maybe place torch in offhand. Does that work? That does. I wouldn't think that would work for some reason. Oh, snap. Okay. Hey, that just... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the skill. That was... Just, that was. We're going to call that skill. I just kind of hope nothing bad shows up. <laughs> the utter skill. Yeah, forget luck. We're calling that one skill. But we're calling that a sound. Boy, howdy, is that a sound? I would not believe... That. Like, that in my head should not work. But it does. I guess it's because the offhand has no other uses than shields. Or, um, putting rockets in the crossbow. I'm the Kenny S of Minecraft. I don't know what half of those words... I know what... I know what, I know what Minecraft is. Food also works. 
Well, you learn something new every day. How about that? I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this dirt. Kenny asks is like a CSGO pro player. So is it, it's like desync where he's like, I'm gonna show you how to do the simple thing in Half-Life 2. And he goes through like insane methods to do it. And it's like, it just accomplishes a very simple, stupid thing. And it's like, or is this like somebody who like, const is this, you suck at cooking? Is this how to basic? I don't even know what my own analogy is. Is this like, He was just insane at aiming with the op in his prime. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know where my own analogy was going, so. We're just, we're just gonna. Like, I, I was starting to be onto something with the desync analogy, but then I kind of lost it and I just kept talking and I just don't know why. Okay. Builds up speed for a few hours to not use the A button. Oh, okay, yeah, Pan and Coke is a... Well, Pan and Coke's kind of the opposite thing. He, he is a very... He's trying to do a very mundane thing, but he goes through it in such insane methods that it's... That it wraps around and becomes awesome. Strider 7X is, like, the opposite of that, where it's just like, I found a way to make this ordinary thing crash Paper Mario. It's like you... How? Maybe your version of Paper Mario is just screwed up, and then you do it for yourself, and then no. It's just, for some reason, talking to a toad 30 times crashes the game or something. Diamonds. Diamonds. Give me the diamonds. No diamonds. To explain how, to explain why we need to build up all of this speed, first we must talk about parallel universes. That like, ugh. I think the most amazing part of that entire video is he talks about all of the, like the tactics and strategies like we know what he's talking about. Because he never expected the video to, like, become a mainstream thing. I think it kind of sucks that everybody memed it to the point where he doesn't want to do a video like that anymore. And now, actually, the speedrun is seven, uh, seven and a half hours because he found a way to optimize the the strategy. But, like, it, it's, it's dumb that we kind of bullied him into not doing stuff like that anymore. But, like, the fact that... With those, um, with those videos, he talked about everything like we know what he's talking about. Simply because it was never supposed to become like a mainstream thing. It was supposed to be just for the Mario 64 A button challenge speedrunning community. It adds a layer of... I don't really want to say comedy because he wasn't trying to be funny about it. But it adds a layer of absurdity to it. It's like, first we use Scuttlebug transportation... And then I'm just sitting there like, this is a thing more than one people are talking about to the point where it has a name that people identify it by. It's like, this is good. But that, like, like the extra fun part is any, like, out of all the things he explains... Yeah, he's got to explain the half A press. And then he brings up a comment from TJ Henry Yoshi, who's got like 30,000 subs on YouTube now, thanks to Pan and Coke's video. I see him all the time in like, like TRG comments and um, Kitchen Nightmares comments. And he's got like a bunch of subscribers because he's TJ Henry Yoshi. <laughs> A press is an A press. You can't say it's all. Woo, we can see the sunrise. Yeah, how about that? Oh, my neighbor has a big Samoya dog. I love this dog already. And he just jumped over my fence into my house through an open window only to steal my cat's spare food. 
He's valid. Oh my god, I love him. I love Samoyeds. He just jumped through a window to eat some food. Ah. I mean, that's probably, like, not cool for you guys, because, like, now there's a dog in your house. He's just being comfy right now. That's a good frickin' dog. He's valid. I love him. I love her. The cat's staring at him with an ugly face. Maybe Silk Touch Redstone and place it under the carpet. I don't have enough books to build the thing yet, so we don't have a Silk Touch pick. And... Ma, there's a cat in our house. There's a weird looking cat out here. Give me a second. Okay, um, we got a bunch of stuff to, we could probably bring home. Oh wait, first I wanna... We should probably build stairs. Just a thought. I remember one of my neighbors had a sphinx cat once, one of those little furless cats, and I once heard a 15 year old call her foreskin cat, and I just lost it. Ugh. I've heard them be called goblin. I've heard, uh, I've heard people- Whoa! Wrong tool for the job, but... Um, uh, my younger brother used to just call them goblins. And he was always afraid that, like, sphinx cats would, like, because he thought they were goblins, would, like, place, like, a spell on him and he would just, like, suddenly die. I don't know why he thought that. He was, like, six. But that was always his fear, was that he was going to be cursed by a goblin and suddenly keel over. Profit of two diamonds out of that. Nice. Uh, we need a place to stash our dirt and our granite. And our redstone. Oh, we gotta build redstone block. Yay. Redstone. Alright, here we go. No. Nope. Hopefully it won't take much longer. Okay. There we go. 44. Yeah. Now I can move all of this back. Look at that. Our cat has fur for that. No, human. I do not need clothing. I am but this. Uh, no! Come on! Where is it? English. We need to play this game with English just a little bit. English is my favorite absolute abomination. All right. Oh, there we go. I was hoping for the, 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 the message. All right. You can only sleep at night and in thunderstorms. That's correct. Black dye, a, a yellow red bed, a green bed, a pink bed, blue green, gray, blue iron ingot, an ore walled button. Ooh, maybe just start placing torches everywhere. I think he wandered towards the uh, the house. Oh, we need a trutch dish. We need a trutch dish, everybody. Just put some trutch dish dishes right here. Just kabam. Yeah. Diamond, gold, blue stuff. 
It's called Bluestone. Ooh! As opposed to Redstone. Or Walled. An underwrite. A house hearst or a horse hearsting. I love. I love English. Some lax. A leather shirt. A bookshelf. Name tag. Minecart. Livened track. Ignore track. A green hearst. Ooh, gun dust. Is bone meal just called white stone? Let's let's go find out. Bone meal. This isn't like. I need to look up the exacts, but. English is a form of English proposed as a joke. Wait. A register of form of English that gives preference to words of native Germanic origin over words of foreign origin. So it's not a dictionary, it's a word book. Uh, that is a blast oven. Uh, that is a reeker, because furnace is a f um, not of Germanic origin. I've used English before. I love English. I think it's... It's awful in all the best ways. Got some raven glass. Oh, that's a good name for that. Blaze dust, spider eye, nether wart. These are all flasks because bottles from something different. Swiftness. When drunk. Have you used anguish? That sounds different. Whoa. There we go. Be gone. I don't know what that minecart noise is. The dog is legit chasing its own tail in my room right now. Again, this Samoyed is valid. All Samoyeds are valid. Samoyeds have the Sims 1 buy mode music just looping in their head forever. And Yeah, I can't stress it enough, they're valid. I knew that was there. Pure skill. Ooh, there there's something happening in this direction. This is about to kill me. Some ways have bullet hell techno music stuck in their head. Fish now has the the the, the bi mode music stuck in stuck in his head. Whoa, hey buddy. What are y'all doing over here? Don't. Don't fall in the... Root. Oh, okay, I'll take that. Alright. Samoyeds are good pups. Don't. Did I get iron out of that? I did. That was a... Wait, no it's not. It's not dumb. Hold on. What am I at? 11? So, yeah, there should be some diamonds. Somewhere. My pick's about to bust. That's gonna suck.
There we go. Let's place a Thackle down. Ooh. Oh, English. I knew it was... And there it goes. Okay, well... Now we gotta get out of here. Not my most thought through plan. So... Whap, boop. Probably should have built a pickaxe while we were up there. I don't know why I didn't. Let's go, let's go. Samoyed is good pup. Jason, if you're part of the Discord, send me a picture of pup. Or you can just send it to me on Twitter, if you're not. I like Samoyed. Good, good dogs. They're, they're my favorites. I remember when I used to play Minecraft, I used to build 10 iron picks and just yeet myself into the depths. Okay, now we're, now we're asking a big question. <coughs> what is the et etymology of yeet? Like, these are the real questions. And, like, years from now, people are going to... They're going to be, like, linguists asking the same question. Well, yeah, ye is the action of throwing oneself into various situations or environments. I've heard it described as Kobe, but for distance instead of accuracy. But, like, the word, like origin and like where did the word come from people like people are going to ask that question decades from now and try to come up with like different theories as to like how the word came to be and the truth is it's probably just a noise some like 14 year old made and he's throwing his bottle at somebody it's like how shakespeare would just come up with words and it's like where did the word come from and the answer is he didn't even know he just kind of wrote down some sound also, this dog, I spread a crisis. I can't anniversary my cat because the second I took my camera, he just ran behind my bed. Can animals just be universally scared of camera sounds? Um, the liar bird mimics them to screw with other, like, predators. So, I guess it could. I guess animals can just become afraid of that noise. go some of that people are yelling out in the hall I mean I guess it's to be expected. It's a college apartment. Of course people are going to be yelling. It's midterms time. I need to go through my animal pick servers and just flood your Discord with pics of Samoyeds. We have an animals like Discord section. There's like an entire just like... I guess it's called a channel or a category on the, the Discord of for just animal picks. So I'll happily take many many pictures of lovely samoids they're just objectively pure animals and whoever handles the wikipedia twitter loves them a category is a place that holds the chain okay so they're called channels for some reason i was thinking like Channels was the term for just voice. I'm not... I'm not well versed with Discord. 
I, I've learned more in the time since I started using it. Like, running the Discord for the YouTube channel's been an experience. I've learned a lot about Discord. Maybe more than I needed to know. I know this Australian guy that sincerely just calls channels bogs. <coughs> yeah, that's a little different. Your Discord's pretty much just Twitter, but with Vesper and Fish, yes. And I personally see nothing wrong with that. It's like you guys are getting updates about how things are coming. And also I've got extra word space, whereas I don't have the word space when I'm dealing with uh, Twitter. That was almost scary. Okay. Let's go ahead and put some seed rock there. That bucket of water just got like obliterated. Time to go craft water. I have an endless water source up above, but it sucks to just be without water now. What if Minecraft, John Minecraft gets thirsty? You need the water to go run. That didn't make sense. That did not make sense. Whoa, whoa. You have an entire river. I also have the infinite water source that I built. They're just the two by two water blocks. So you just use that. And it's right by the house. We don't have to go walking to the river. might sound lazy but that's whatever I like having the infinite water source because you can't screw up the infinite water source sometimes you can screw up the river I expected to find some diamonds down here I didn't Just as a, as a joke, I'm just gonna, just kind of pop out these walls a little bit. Come on. Diamond, where are you? I need some diamond. I want to put down the diamonds. Give me. Behind this corner, there'll be diamond. No. That didn't work. Payday Minecraft map. Back to the student apartments thing. I literally live on the countryside, like in a country, but I hear people screaming constantly. When I go into the city, I also hear people screaming, so it's just never a wrong place to scream. I think screaming is just, like, the new normal. Let's be real. It's like with everything that's happened in the world, it's just like every time is a time to scream. Also, Fish, I believe there are payday Minecraft maps. Like, didn't somebody build Harvest and Trusty as a Minecraft map? Could have sworn I've seen that. I thought I Googled that like years ago. Shoot, I don't want to break that block. Screaming is just a new way of napping. Like, the way I see it, what happened was it just, it works for birds. Birds always want to scream. So now, like, who's to stop us from screaming? Nobody. You want to scream? Go for it. When somebody asks, why are you screaming? You can just be like, have you seen the world today? And then they're like, oh, I understand. Can I join you? Oh, redstone. Anyone remember when the when you got to like these blocks, 
There used to be like a heavy, like dark fog that hung over the game, so you couldn't see where you were going. Cause I feel like that's one of those things that we don't talk about anymore. Ha, huh, birds think you are. Ha, huh, birds, you think you're good at randomly screaming? Check this out. I kid you not, I have a friend of the parrot, and he legit scared the Christ out of a pit bull by screaming and flying at him. Like, that's how it goes. Like, birds are just like that. Oh, maybe we'll get the message about, like, there's, mo there's monsters. And it's gonna be, like, <laughs> screwed up because they can't use the correct words. Let me in. There we go. Yeah, we're back home. Open the door. Get on the bed. Leave the bed. Being calm exists. Birds, your free trial of living has ended. Rawr! Birds are just here to have a good time and to scream. And it's like, you're a fool to attempt to stop them. I think what it is is birds just don't have a concept of hubris. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but like... A bird isn't going to like, suffer... Well, I mean, it can. Screaming and having a good time are synonyms. I guess. I technically have enough to build a, a full set of diamond armor. I don't know if I want to do that at the moment. What's about to break? I wonder how Minecraft birds sound in lava. You really don't. Okay. Um, fish, that's kind of a, a messed up thought, but... Oh, boy. I did some hursting toughness. Yeah. Clad me in diamonds. A fourth step made. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, <laughs> I, 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 that, that's a good vine. Is he still outside? No, those are my cows and sheep. Speaking of cows and sheep, we can uh, go attempt to get more cows. Leather is really gonna be the thing that holds back this bookshelf. God dang it, he's still out here. Whoa. Aha! Uh -huh. Like that. Four cows, heck yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Charles and you. Yeah. Yeah. Sheep. Sheep. <laughs> Teleports behind you. Ha! It's just this llama. The rest is gone, but this llama remained. Ah, my crops are done. Let's let's go harvest. He left a llama as a gift. I should hold it ransom. If you want it back, you better give me something decent or let me sell things to you for emeralds. It's like a business card, except it spits in your face. In the last stream that we played of this... The llamas attacked each other because one spit on the other, and one of them died, and the other one lived. And the, the, the traitor just thought nothing of it. There was no, like, startled sound. He didn't try to, like, leave. He just kind of looked around and went, huh. And it's like, dude, look at what happened. They're dead. There. 
This guy has an infinite source of llamas in his pockets. He can just get a new one. That is... That is fair. He also will come back after a couple days, even if you kill him. Which is worrying. And I don't look at that implies. Because he can't sell you the Totem of Undying, which is a thing that's in this game for some reason. Alright, that's a field of crops. There we go. We did it. Imprison him and he can't leave so he can't get back. He'll just, he just tell, it just despawns. Which is not an elegant solution in the slightest. I really can't stress that enough. Go. It's just like a Jehovah's Witness, they always come back. Give him a name tag. Now we're getting into, like, QA territory. Like, what happens if you prevent him from despawning? But then likewise, like, prevent him from, like, spawning twice. Like, that's something, like, that's a question that QA, like would have to answer like that's like a QA type of question answer uh, I don't have a way to like ah oh, jeez I didn't think this farm through at all I looked at the paper texture for a solid three seconds because I thought you had two stacks of nether stars no that's just paper all right I need I need leather was that Charles that, no, that was not Charles. Thank gosh. I got scared. I thought that was Charles. I, I, I don't know what to tell Dan if Charles dies. Thank you. I mean, Dan probably doesn't care. No, no. Can you all back away? That, no. No. They're protecting him. Jesus Christ. Okay, now that worked. Two leather out of that? That wasn't that, that wasn't that worth it. Just make the farm bigger. I will eventually. We're we're gonna we're gonna have more room. I just needed a place to put them at the end of the last stream because I was corralling them home. Wait. And then. There we go. There we go. Just make 2,000 cows. Yeah, bro. Just, just have a whole bunch of. Just a whole bunch of cows. Well, the problem to me looks like the, you've got too many cows at the end, and the solution is just to have more cows. Books. Leather. That only made two books. Why are bookshelves so expensive? You know, I never really, like, thought about it until... Well, now I can make two more bookshelves. Cause you need what, twelve or fifteen? For uh the fully upgraded uh station. I'll just use four sticks. Is it twelve around the the enchantment table? I should probably build the enchantment table, shouldn't I? Although I'm out of books. Okay, we got we got two. We're gonna have, we're about to have four.
I also need to have a space for that because it takes a weird amount of resources. It's like it's got to be like an odd numbered space, and all and all my houses use even numbered spaces because I like double doors. Here's all these other blue sheep I didn't bother to corral. Because at the time I wasn't trying to get the blue sheep. I was trying to get uh, cows. And then a bunch of blue sheep a bunch of blue sheep came along and I was just like, I'll roll with it. There we go. Nine. Blue cows. What Mr. Carpenter really wanted. That was a, a timely, timely reference to 1995's Earthbound. Whoa, what is that? Giant mushroom. Oh, a hill. Cactus. Can I do things with cactus? I might, I might borrow some cactus. Wait, what? I got sidetracked and the dog disappeared. Whoa. Ah, oh, dude, new knowledge unlocked. Just go to my knowledge book to find out about cactus. Is it called cat? It's thorn tree. Ah, oh, snap. That's, ah, oh, dude, that sounds like something you'd get in like an old adventure game. You approach the thorn tree. Knowledge book, it's sting. Oh, God. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, like imprecise, like relative to other things talk. The spiky bush thing. Unlocked. Oh, dude. Now that's, that's a language for Minecraft. Imprecise, I don't quite know what this is. Or, um, discussion. I like that it's called a knowledge book. kind of scary to be out here just on my own wandering especially in a and it's about this point that if i don't take shelter i'll get ganged on by 200 skeletons it's fine bro i'm in the i'm in the the, the forest the mushroom will be my house hey dude you called it whoa wait no no no, no they're fighting that guy's got enchanted slacks i want him to, to lose so i can have his enchanted slacks I should probably be shooting him if I want him to give me your slacks, man. Alright. I'm committed to, to the run. Is there, a no is there an unknowledge book? That sounds like an artifact for like a, a joke D&D &D campaign. Where whenever you pick it up, you forget why you picked it up so you put it back down. But the goal is to try to convince everybody to bring it back to, like, a town. What did I say? It wasn't 200. It was, like, three. And besides, I found the town. Who are you? A mason. You want clay for Greenhurst and a Greenhurst for brick. That's actually a decent deal. That's a decent-ish deal. Have you ever played West of Loathing? Um, I... Actually recorded a quick look at West of Loathing, and I only played like 20 minutes of it. But I enjoyed the 20 minutes. Um, it felt really easy. But it's a game I started playing. I just never finished playing. Hello? You're a holy man! Uh, rotten flesh for Greenhurst and Greenhurst for Redstone Dust. That's a decent deal, dude. Thank that's a, I'll keep that in mind. Like, play it in its entirety, it gets better and better. Uh, sorry about that, mate. Whoa. Actually, I, I want to know what the, the, the word... There's probably a way to look that up. Whoa. No. Wait. 
What is hoodwitch ship? Chires, those are options. Um, that's not land. Fourth steps isn't is. It's got okay. No, it is this. Things whites. Here we go. Blaze, cow, creeper, drowned, gas pig, undead pig man, bone set. His name is Bone Set. Uh, spider be speaker. Reaver, the withered bone set, undead warg, and the undead wixman. Oh, he's an, is he an undead wixman? No. I've only killed four of those. That might be the guys with the crossbows. Is there a flying lizard? There are... In Minecraft, there's phantoms, which they're not lizards, but they're flying. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other flying mobs, as we discussed in the last stream, and I said... Phantoms are really the only one, and they weren't. Because there's a bunch of other ones, but they're the only flying, overworld, aggressive mob. That's correct. Yeah, it's called a, dra a, a dragon. Whoa, what is this? Oh, I thought this was like a house out of dirt, and I got scared. Kind of just wandering. I wanna, I wanna find things. Is it midnight? Is it morning? It's almost morning. That's a creeper. If parrots get added, they'll be too aggressive. Overworld flying monsters. There are parrots in Minecraft. You find them in the jungle, and you tame them with seeds, and they mimic the sounds of nearby mobs, and like primarily to jump scare the player, but also to tell you like. If it makes, like, the sound of an Enderman, then there's an Enderman nearby. Or if, the, if it makes the sound of, like, a ghast, then you should probably run because there shouldn't be ghasts in the overworld. Or you should get your parrot out of the nether because it's about to get blown up. But there are parrots and other, like, types of birds like that. Cockatiels. It's like a whole, like, subsection of passive to friendly mob. For what it's worth, I don't dislike Parrot's additions. I just don't. There's a gas trying to fit through the small nether portal. It used to be able to do that in Alpha. If you had a nether portal, ghasts could appear in your world, but then that was changed to Zombie Pigmen because that was just really dumb. Because it was really, really dumb. You couldn't put it anywhere nice. And it'd blow up your map. What the heck is this? They can only go through big portal. Can you build bigger portals? I know they talked about doing that. I just... Yes? You can make portals as big as you want. That's scary. But two by three is uh, the the smallest size, right? Or can you do two by two? Literally, you can make a hundred by hundred portals. That's nuts. That's actually nuts. I know they talked about it, but I thought they removed they removed it in one of the snapshots because it, it wasn't working correctly. But to hear that now they have it working is crazy because I just that's like something I just kind of pushed back in the back of my head because I just never thought it ever <laughs> happen. That's, that's wild. There's a witch. <laughs> Do not peek over the edge. I 
I just want to figure out where the witch is. I just thought that was a normal guy for some reason. Ah, jeez. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not a smart man. The chat just updated. Uh, average Joe just going through the monster forest. Exactly that. I need to heal. Ah, uh, dude, new knowledge unlocked. Nice. My knowledge book. I figured out how to make... I wonder what the word for dispenser is going to end up being. Probably something crazy. I guess I could see dispenser being a German word. There we go. Yeah, I just thought it was just a regular, just like, Minecrafty guy walking around the forest. Which I guess in hindsight doesn't make sense. Things drop through this. It's... It's gonna have a slightly... It's gonna have a dumb... A dumb name, for sure. But how dumb, we will have to find out. I am really far away right now. I should probably think about heading back. Oh, there's another village. Can I just mention the fact that this laptop I got as a gift for my birthday from an online friend is genuinely a straight upgrade from my old laptop? Well, that's nice of them to do that for you. That's actually really cool. Hello? There's that saw, the stone cutter. Don't have any stone to cut. Um, you got some grass in the house, I'll fix that for you. You've just got a bed. You've just got a bed. What are you, a farmer? He is mad at me for some reason. Also, his neck broke. That was really... Why is he upset? Is it because I broke the the grass in his house? It's like... Is it because I right-clicked him with the sword? Oh, there's a potion stand. Hello, Mason. What is that? Trades? Okay, I thought that said something different. Kitty! Kitty! Man, it worked hard to grow that grass, especially through all that, uh, stone, yeah. Hello, humble farmer. That was not intre- that was way less interesting than I hoped. Oh, there's a whole bunch of cows. That's why we came out here. We're on a cow venture. It's, it's like the Oregon Trail. Food time. Maybe burn them for cooked meat. I need the leather more than anything. I'm here for the leather. I can I can smelt the beef. I just want to be like, get in, get out, and make it less. 
Make it as easy for them as I can. Smelt the beef? Yeah. Is it called beef? Steak. Oh, he gave me his hat, not his slacks. The skeleton that we fought last night gave me a hat that I have no use for. I can smelt the beef. Yay. Reminds me of the Thinker's Construct. You make liquid beef and make weapons out of beef. Ugh. That's kind of a... <laughs> Alright. Unfortunately, I just got word. Um, that's an ominous noise. Wait. Don't tell him. Um, Dan is a little busy. Um, I asked if he wanted to co com and he said once he finished something up then he would, but it's taken him a lot longer than he thought it would. So Dan won't be joining us for the stream today, which is I mean, it's unfortunate. I like it when Dan joins, and it's evident other people do too, because whenever Dan is here for streaming, um, and whenever Dan's here at CoCom, the stream does better. <coughs> so, you know, it is it has been unfortunate, but I'm wishing him best luck, best of luck with, because he's got like he's got finals coming up. It's crazy. I just worked on, like I've got I I was just assigned my midterms two days ago. And this is actually Dan's channel, but you're just substituting. It kind of feels that way in some cases. And I, I don't mean to throw Dan under the bus. I'm cool with it. I think it's funny to me that Dan's more popular on my channel than I am. To the point where Dan did a video all by himself. I mean, I edited the video. And I kind of like... Like I put like opening and closing words on it, but he did it two different builds all by himself. And it did crazy well. Like t like two or three thousand views, which I mean at that time was something. That a bunch of people were like, you know, I think I like Dan more than you. And it's like, that's fair. Like, Dan tried to pass it off. It's like, oh, that's... It's like, I'm glad that you enjoyed the video, but I'm just... Like, I'm just a guest here. And I'm like, no, that's fair. You're allowed to like Dan more than me. Because Dan is friends with somebody with the name Valhalla, and I'm not. Like, that's enough. Granted, the skill system in Payday is painfully simple that even a toddler could use it. So it wouldn't be hard to make... So it wouldn't be hard to make the builds themselves. Yeah, but, like, Dan plays Payday 2 differently from other people. Um, his, like, most used build is an Infiltrator build, which freaks me out a little bit. It's more about choice. It's a super flexible, like... It's just... It's, it's a super crazy flexible system and I, I like I really like it for that if you can imagine it you can make it work kind of yeah I don't feel like there's been many games that have the the freedom of choice and the freedom of like build diversity payday had because in a lot of games leveling up is an ordeal and payday 2 for like your first hundred levels is kind of an ordeal um, the starter guide took about 25 hours to do from level zero to 
Infamy 1 level, I think, 58 was what it ended at. 56 or 58, something like that. If you want to feel disturbed, consider me the guy who completed Payday 2, 100% achievements, and trophies of the PC that played at like 20 to 25, 20 to 30 FPS. 100% achievements? Wow. I don't even have 1,000 achievements. I have like 680 or something like that. Like, I don't have terribly many. Every achievement, that's crazy. Dan and I also still haven't beaten the true ending, but, um, because we wanted to do that on camera as, like, the, the source code, um, as the finale for Pit A2 on source code, because we still have a couple more heists to, to, to record. We tried to do a Hell's Island once, and that considered never, that never took. I legit rolled back to housewarming day one to farm Rob to cop. What was so special about housewarming day one? I guess is my question. Why specifically day one to farm Rob to cop? So I thought they added the trophies in uh, day two with the safe house. That is a crazy ravine. Wow. On housewarming day one, Hydra was introduced as a modifier and that counted towards trophies. Modifiers ran in like day six or eight. Aren't they? <laughs> or mutators, I think is what they want them to be called. I thought that was a rather... That was like one of the later editions. I don't remember. I'm saying day one isn't like... Oh, like... Okay, so like... The day that they added them, but before they patched... Um, trophies to be uh, we figured it out it's like before trophies disable or um, mutators disabled trophies understandable still wondering why the trophies there are not achievements that's a great the only thing I can think is like console proofing well, okay it's like, in the event that like a console doesn't have achievements, it can still have trophies. But then the problem becomes, they never put uh, the safe house in the console version. From what I gather, any of them. So, you know, like, whatever. Yeah, they don't even have safe house. Like, that's my only consideration. Is maybe that was just something they thought, like... Well, the consoles, when they get the safe house, they'll have their own set of unlockables. But then the safe house never came. And then they tried to resell Payday 2 on consoles with all the exact same content, just under a new name. And... Yeah, that was... That's that's a concept. How much? 33 leather. Wow. I totally didn't need that farm. I'm sincerely waiting for somebody in the Payday 2 modding community to make a mod that cleans the Payday 2 code to a point where it actually runs well. A Payday Optifine would actually be great. I think Payday 2 also has a memory leak issue, because if you play, like, Overdrill, that, that game just slows to a crawl. Like, as you progress through Overdrill. Like, that happened when we played it for um, the stream, and, on, and then later when I cut that up for Source Code. It just kept running worse and worse, and then all of a sudden, it just crashed. So I'm thinking Payday 2 has a memory leak. Played TF2 a ton, and I looked at the source code, and it's a nightmare. I can imagine. 
What I'm discovering is everybody hypothetically loves um, super tight, concise programming, and they're looking to hire people for that. But then, like, th like any amount of organization just falls apart, and then all of a sudden the game's running at, like, six frames per second because it's doing a thousand calls, a thousand draw calls all at once, a thousand conditionals. Then I looked at Payday 2 code in general, and I was like, oh, I can imagine. I feel sorry for the guy who wrote the long guide because he used um, a Lua plugin to directly pull like variables and like code as it ran. I can only imagine that that was a nightmare to sift through all that to try to figure out what was even happening. We're going the wrong way. Fun fact, rocket jumping in TF2 is caused by spaghetti codes. So the most iconic mechanic in the game is an accident. I could... I could believe it. Part of me also just wanted to assume that the rocket jumping was caused by a leftover code from the original Quake. Because the Source Engine is built out of... Essentially out of Quake's bones. So part of me, like, just assumed that what had happened was... That was Quake coming back from the dead. Rocket jumping is just the leftovers of American space programs. Don't shoot the sheep. Let me get to my house. Don't blow up the sheep. Oh. Nyum. I'm expecting the... <laughs> there are monsters here. You can't sleep message. Is there something on the roof? No, that was smoke. Oh, I messed that up. Hold on. There we go. Alright. There we go. Okay. I'm expecting the traveling trader in your bed. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. All right, have some steak. Um, 816, 32, 48. Yeah. And then I'll just, later we'll just throw some wood in there. I got a bunch of bows. I can't build these together anymore, can I? You have to use the grindstone. Or you, you could use this. For... Oh no, not my Gelder craft! Oh god, I lost all my Gelder craft! Shoot, I had 40 points and now it's, all, it's down to 20. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. I liked my Galdercraft too. String, thorn tree, gun dust. Give me the book fell. Yes. All right. Ah, oh, nice. 33 books. I'll take not all the or 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 wall. I'll just take some. And then we'll just wait, we can just Where is it? 5 Six. There we go. I hope we get an underground update. I mean, I usually play with Keep Inventory t True, so I can't relate to that feeling. I played through Xanadu with Keep Inventory True. But I figured if I had turned it on here, everybody would be upset, so I didn't.
I could see an underground update. Although they'd probably add like a race of like underground villager people. Let's be real. Yeah. All that carpet. I need to build pants. I'll just build them out of this. Okay. I mean, Minecraft is pretty much a meme mod now, so they might as well go balls to the walls with new ores and such. I feel like, on the whole, they've done a decent enough job of keeping a form of sanity. Do I have a book? Just one book? No. Oh god, I have to build one more book. A mushroom biome underground. Um, copper, tin, alloys. Rubies and sapphires, I could see them adding. Um, part of me worries that that would become like, too Terraria-esque. But I guess I could make that work in some way. A mushroom biome. I can see them doing the bioluminescent mushroom thing like Terraria did. Actually, I'll, I'll be I'll be legit. That feels like something they probably could have done. Or an underground jungle. Imagine a British language instead of mushrooms. It's called poshrooms. Um... There is Shakespearean English. We're going to activate that one real fast. Underground Abandoned Village. Yeah, I'm, like, they Yeah, apparel tailoring, thy visit just gaze, rip dialogue, resource packs, choose thy accessibility at thy choice. Uh, fishing rod, cooked salmon, watered bucket, a stick, diamond wheat, potion, oh, hiding. Yeah, is this what you wanted? It's, it's here. Um, there's certain places where it's not quite... Roasted bacon, a diamond spade, ebon timber, ocular field, yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah it's in here. I, I like the meme languages, I'll admit. I think, oh god, no. Oh god, I think... There's Upside Down Talk. There's Pirate Speak. Um, there's Lolcat. We could turn on Lolcat. You want some Lolcat? We're turning on Lolcat Speak. This is gonna hurt. Oh god, it hurts. Ooh. Ooh, we're gonna leave that. Get out of the corner. There's Charles. So we'll just... Oh, I did this in the wrong order. Uh... What the hell have you brought upon this cursed land? Um, you know. The kid a feeding device. Crisp pink noms. What our book it. Stick. Ooh, shiny. Blue fur block, leather, spotty meat, spinny thing, time teller, crossbows. Deletes Rainbow Six, likes Lolcat. <laughs> Look, I'm getting it's 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 like my days back on Flipnote. I did this at one point unironically. <laughs> Oh god, I actually did. All right, well I can just oh, well, let's just build that book. Leather, book, book is normal. Book's normal, guys. I'm literally going to go get a bottle of water and take a bottle of whiskey and take shots every time a word makes me angry. <laughs> Don't do that, you'll die. You actually probably will. 
like jungles would din block. Uh, sadly, sad. Minecat, powered rail in all caps. Wood didn't pick at. Can powder, round loud thing. <laughs> it's called a round loud thing, everybody. Buried treat finder. <laughs> bowl, bowl is not bowl is lowercase. Water shots. You'd probably still die from that. Uh, Overhydration is a thing. I'll just do that. Iron ingot. A block of irony! <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh, this is... Oh, this is how Minecraft was meant to be played. Is it called hyperhydration? It probably is. The hardest thing ever. <laughs> oh! Oh, this sucks. Netherrack is normal. How can a meme language make a joke that I would make unironically? <laughs> Just admit, like, this is what Minecraft... This is Minecraft that is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad I did this. Give me that. The cool table. This is how Hitsune Miku wanted Minecraft to be played, I'm pretty sure. Alright, uh, do I have stone brick? I got some stone brick. Some. Probably enough to do uh, the floor in the enchantment room. I think I'm just gonna... What are the enchantments named? I need to know. Well, you're in luck. We're about to find out. I think I'm just gonna go in like right here and just... Oh, that's grass. Oh, we can't do that. Darn it. That's actually not what I wanted. I want the door to go the other way. So we're just gonna... Th this is becoming stupid. Okay, no, that, okay, no, that worked. That's, that's the way I wanted it to go. Alright. So, one. Alright. Alright, so... Ah, uh, oh, damn it, grass. No, my water! Ah, uh, okay, alright. It's, 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 it's fine. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move the door over. That's, that's fine. I really don't want the door that way, but it'll be fine. All right. So I didn't go over enough. All right. Is it better than when I was young? I actually made a cartoon gag and put a door that led directly into a brick wall and laughed at it. Um, no. I actually, in one of my worlds, not the my one point my Alpha one point two world, but in another world. I had a door that led to nothing. So like you would open the door and there was just like a, a, a steep like like fifteen block drop. It 
And yeah, I did fall for it. In my own house. Is it called? It is called dirt with a U. It's a diamond spoon. Ooh. Oh God. Oh, this is the new Minecraft Hardcore PBG. Okay, so your new Minecraft Hardcore is everybody plays with the Lolcat uh, text pack. And whoever gets frustrated and gives up first um, is dead. I'm afraid. Damn it, that was my farm. Oh, this is above the... Where am I going to put this thing? Don't dig down and put like two... Just dig down and put like two stairs. I mean, I guess I could. But I'd rather it not come to that. What time is it? Is it... It's night. We're just going to... We're going to figure this out. I need to do some cartography. And I also need to fix the farm. <sighs> Literally walk forward from your bed and make a small staircase. I mean, I could. I'd rather not have to come to that, though, is the thing. Potato. I didn't get to see what that potato's Ooh. name was. I'm just going to assume something cringy. Okay. Hold on. How much room we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. We might be able to do that. And I, I could make this work, but I need to build up this hill. It was called Potato. P-A-T-A-T-O. Okay. Um... This is going to be really uneven, and I'm going to hate doing this. So I'm going to do it like here, and live with the consequences. Uh, stacked rocks. Alright. That's fine. Alright, one, two. One, two. All right, so that's a three by three. Four, five. And now we just go three blocks in. There we go. So far, so good. This is going great. <laughs> how can you be how can you be nervous about such a menial thing? Look, I'm not the one stressing myself out over what the uh, the wall cat achievements are called. Or the wall cat enchantments are. Like, you're playing yourself in that regard. I am okay, I am gonna need more stone bricks. So we're just going to take, where is it? Well, you know, a stack of that. You have to look at the achievement names. The advancements. Cat Venture. Cat Venture, Explore and Fight. Uh, he dead, boy. Kill Raid Captain. Stay away from villages for now. Bad kitty dead maker. F fight a bad kitty. I threw we. I threw a pun. Throw a dingle hopper at something. No, throwing away cats only weapon is not good. 
Uh, very, very Fred. Very, very French thing. Strike a villager with. What the frick is happening? Headshot someone. I'm going into a coma from alcohol. Is going into a coma from alcohol still an option? Pew pew something with a bow and arrow. MLG yellow duel. Easy a bony boy from at least 50 meters away. Uh, bad kitties made dead. Scratch one of each bad cats. Use a totem of undining to Cheeto's death. That's called after dieted. Uh, what to deal? Successfully trade with villager. Spawn one strange hum iron human to defend ordinary humans from human town. Hired help. Uh, old Betsy is normal except for shoot the crossbow. Uh, two burbs, one arrow. Make two creepy flying things dead with a pierce and arrow. I am the pillager, not you. Give a pillager a test of its own medicine. Cat dreams, change your rebirth point. Discover every biome. Cat adventuring time. So Iron Man was born. It gonna be hot. Rescue a ghost from hell. Bring it safely to Cat House to the overworld. And then betray. Use the hell to travel seven kilometers and slip the cat world. Rush B, I mean, into another fortress. There's there's just a Counter-Strike joke in the middle of the... <laughs> Spoopy, scary skeleton. What, what thuring heights summon the wither? I'm literally at my eighth whiskey bottle. Stop. And just stop. I'm just going to keep reading these because these are kind of fun. I mean, okay, okay, you know what? No, they, they've, they've become a little less fun. The Rush B was something, but... Um... Oh, there's a, there's a follow on Twitter joke. I didn't even put the stuff in here. Hold on. All right, so I'm just gonna, we're just gonna split that in half and just go boop, 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 boop. And give me half one of those. Bang, boom. Yay. The cat sleeps here. It's the furnace. Don't put the cat in the furnace. That seems a little awful, putting the cat in the furnace. Doggy treats. Uh, I've got my bookshelves. I've got everything I need. The floor is set up. I'm just going to temporarily torch this up. Just so nothing like crazy spawns. I actually love the hilarity of the fact that EPK's brain slowed down and forgot to put the things in there before reading the achievements. This language pack is not healthy for the mind. It's... It's... It's far and away like the biggest distraction in Minecraft. Like that book of unknowledge I talked about, like a and d artifact where when you pick it up, you forgot why you picked it up, so you just put it back down. It's, it's, it's gotta be, it has to be written entirely in lolcat. Oh, that just, okay, that actually saved me a lot of work. Except, uh, we probably want... Don't put bookshelves in the corners, you fool. Uh, yeah, about that. I just okay. Now I get the books back. And you still get the fruit back. You know what? It's fine. I've got all that jungle wood. Oh, that's not fine. I guess I'm using that. I've got all that jungle wood. We'll make it work. And because you know we're not gonna we're not gonna look in these corners. This can just be. What do they call this? Kitty litter rocks. Man, uh, Hat and Times Nyakuza Metro DLC is looking great. Oh, we should put. 
we opened the stream with no words, so yeah, this is now officially um, a stream of the the Nyakuza Metro DLC. I, I think that's that's fair. It's what now word would have wanted. Uh, but I can only build four. Oh, because I'm out of I'm out of out of wood. Now we can do that. And then... We need more wood than that. I'm glad we did this. I'm glad that we put on the lol cat, uh... Uh, language pack. I think it really, really helps make Minecraft, you know, uh, it helps make Minecraft art. Like, this is what Hatsune Miku would have wanted, I think. Thanks, my blood alcohol ratio loves it too. It's fine, just stop drinking. <laughs> it's that easy. Okay. It's a Bernie stick. So. Let's, I need lapis. I think, I think it just calls it blue stuff. Yeah, blue stuffs. Let's go see what we get. I've been trying to get this friend from Australia to work out more, and it's legit been raining two days in a row for him. Australia? Rain? It rains in Australia. Um, just... My cat needs me. Go make sure you... Go make sure your resident little bastard isn't, you know, freaking out. Because sometimes they do that. I don't know how cats work, just sometimes they're like, meh, and it's like, what do you need? And they're just like, meh. It's like, if you don't know, then how am I supposed to know? I, I've never owned a cat. Um, so, like, new recipes unlocked. Check your recipe. <clears throat> yeah, they're just like, meh. It's like, sorry, we can't help you. Oh, no. Really? That kind of ruins what I was planning. Oh, that sucks. Okay, new plan. Um, we're just gonna... We're just gonna... There. Owning a cat's like owning a baby without going in debt. All right. Fust digging four. I can get fust digging two. It costs two blue stuffs and two shiny levels. I can get one. We'll go for two. Sure. All right. Um, I need to be level 18 for that. Uh, much sharp one. Kill all the spiders for. I hate this. Oh, we don't need to enchant that. What about the axe? Fast digging. Never break. I probably won't never break. How about the spoon? Never break. Okay. Um. Oh, well, that'll do. Let's let's see what we can do with the awesome shoes. They need to be level eighteen. Never break. Fire protection. Projectile protection for. Problem with that. Uh, iron hat, iron vest, iron pants, awesome shoes. We should go write a sign that tells us what that room does, but write it in lol cat speak. Mm -hmm. 
Death room. Yeah, like this, right? This is what we want. That looks good. Yeah. You know, this is a very good excuse for you to work on that farm. I could, I just wanted to make the farm bigger. Um, Enchantatorium. There we go. Then do it. Oh, it's nighttime. Yay. Oh, the, the, something's happened here. What? Wait. Advancement. Okay. I mean, I don't necessarily need to make the farm bigger at the moment. And if I do make it bigger, it's probably going to have to be out this way, right? I think it need to be out that way. I'll let this crop grow, and then once it's done, then we can go big. Out that way. The, the lolcat language is a good addition. God dang it, you're back! Why are y'all back? I need the crossbow for this. Ha ha! There we go. I'm the pillager, not you. What if this was just the language the game came in? I just want you to consider. We both missed. There we go. There we go. Delete this entire game. Cat wanted to trade a mouse for some food. Huh. Uh, we just fought some... Um, some of the pillagers. And I propose the question, what if this game's only language was lolcat? To which Jason replied, delete. <laughs> like, I mean, it's an internet thing that was popular and like started getting popular in 2009, 2010. So it's right around the lolcat speak era. I don't know, to me it makes sense. For this game to be played with uh, lolcat speak. Because that's kind of like... I don't know. Where it all began? I don't know if that's quite the right word. It, it fits the time period in which this game came out in. Quite splendidly, I should add. Although some people would feel um, counter to that. They would feel like uh, my word choice isn't quite correct. That creeper did not die. I'm just going to do this. Take a little bit of fall damage, but then you can just... Yeah. Ooh, we need to check the uh, stats and see what everything's called. Uh, statistics, mobs. Um, gee, it's made of fire. Milk maker. Creeper. Dan is having Unity build exceptions. Um. Uh, creeper, water thing, ghast, unky, unky human, spooky scary skeleton, spider, bad guy, pillager, spooky weather skeleton, bad human, undead villager. Somebody worked on this. Somebody wrote this language for this game. And not only that, but... Jab or Dinnerbone or Hetsune Miku or whoever is responsible said yes, put this in. Just, I don't know, 
how does that make you feel? I'm expecting a, a bad. <laughs> and the people at Mojang have to proofread these. I mean, eventually. They didn't proofread the, um... Makes you feel like a complete human being. I don't think they they need to proofread this. I swear, if you make another bucket of water vanish, it's fine. I figured out my mistake, and I'm not just I'm not gonna click the surface of the water again, or the surface of the lava. And I guess if I do, there is another water source down here. It's not like I've got to go all the way back. And I don't think they need to proofread this. I mean, I would hope that they would proofread. Is my thing. Although there was a problem with... Oh god, Hebrew. Hebrew is, like, labeled in the game. But if you, tra like, if you translate what they labeled the Hebrew language... Like, the English, like, the romanization of the Hebrew... It translates to English. Uh oh. No! I don't know what I just did. But I lost that obsidian. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thank you. That was that was that was a little uh, a little um scary. Just put a bucket of water on top and keep it there while mining obsidian. I could. I, I, I'm trying to get down here. Well, I saw. Well, I wasn't trying to get down here, but then I saw there was ore, and now I want down here. Oh, would you look at that? Lava? Yes. We'll just do that. I don't need this. I actually have no use for more obsidian. I think. What else can I use obsidian for other than nether portals and enchantment tables? I have no idea. It's blast proof? I guess it is. I just... No, thank you. Oh. So lolcat speak and owo speak are kind of two separate things. Put around your house, I can play with the texture looking like blueberries. No, but... So, Lolcat and Owo are kind of like two separate things, right? So... If you're following me... What I think we need... Is another language in this game... Of Owo. Because Lolcat's kind of, you know... A little, a little 2008, maybe a little 2008, um, but oh whoa, it's fresh, it's contemporary, it's all the rage. Dan's sending me a message. Dan just quadrupled his arrow, his, um, his errors. Lolcat versus oh whoa, other no otherwise known as memes versus furries. Lolcat, which one is, oh whoa is memes, right? Or, it could be either, honestly. It, Lolcat versus Oh Whoa is kind of like, I mean, for lack of a better term, it's like Tumblr versus Flipnote. And Tumblr versus Tumblr ten years ago. Oh Whoa is furries. I would think Lolcat would be furries, because that's kind of, you know, it's right there in the name. But, I guess I'm not a meme historian. Oh, whoa, well, notices your mistake. I don't need all this. It's just fun to take. Uh, there we go. 
There we go. There we go. See, we fixed it. I hate that that's a, that's a solution, but it is. How much do I got? I got 17 blocks. For a second, I almost screamed because I thought you made the water vanish. I knew how to make that how to make that happen again. It's not a problem. Dan's having problems with the iOS build of his game that he's developing for his class. The problem is it's Windows only and then he has no build settings for iOS. So, again, like, I've said it before on this stream. I'm going to say it another time. Unity is the world's first game engine with an anxiety disorder. iOS. I'm disgusted. It's fine. Like, he's not even building an iOS version of the game. It's a Windows only thing. It's so accurate and I don't even bother to look into Unity. Like any AAA dev will tell you it's like it's fickle and sometimes it's just done. You want to build a game in VR? Sometimes it's just like I don't know if I want to start the VR dude. It's like okay but our game is VR exclusive like only VR. We need the headset working so we can test. It's like no. What are the top fixes? Uh. Mm. Mm. Unity is the Tumblr of game development. The difference is Pornhub isn't looking to buy Tumblr. Or Pornhub isn't looking to buy Unity. They're looking to buy Tumblr. That's um worrying. It's like they're two separate things also like i don't know how i'd feel about that um but it's accurate ish the big thing is like tumblr went through like so many people and everybody on glassdoor hated working there unity is just like it's not built bad <laughs> it's just not built good it's like a commercial kitchen but, like, everything's kind of slightly off-kilter, so whenever you, like, touch the stove, it, it, like, rocks forward. And then, um... Thanks, I hate that thought. It's the most accurate way to describe Unity, honestly. Uh... And then Unreal is like a commercial kitchen, but everything is branded. Like it's really trying to get you to like advertise that brand. And in this case, it's Fortnite that they're trying to trying to sell you. And like, like I'll be the first to admit, I think the Epic Game Store has eventual potential. At the moment, it is missing things. Um, when I have the money, if if Borderlands still doesn't come out on Steam, then I'll get it there. I don't mind using another launcher, because I already use um, the Unreal launcher for Unreal to build. But the number one thing, and they've pretty much openly talked about this, they're looking to get more games on the Epic Game Store. They're looking to get more games on the Epic Game Store, because that puts... Fortnite in front of more people. They've like openly talked about that. It is like the people who are going to buy a game like Gone Home aren't going to play Fortnite. But if you keep pushing Fortnite at them and sell Gone Home on this launcher, then maybe they will. It's like, yeah, at the same time, you could just like leave good enough alone.
It's easy to compete if you don't have to make a profit. It is, and that's, okay, like, that's the one thing that's, like, really working for them. And that's also, that was kind of on Valve's side, too. Was at the time when, like, whoa. At the time when uh, Steam started to explode, and this was, like, 2008 to, like, 2000. And, this is, like, 08 to, like, 2013. Um, they had... Team Fortress 2, they had Half-Life 2, um, Portal, eventually Portal 2, and then eventually, like, near the tail end, CSGO and Dota. And they've still got, they, and they still have CSGO and Dota. Did you know there was a way to disable all bats? Is it light the bats on fire? I'm not sure if, like, bats even do anything. Bats don't worry me, it's, it's a little bit of set dressing. Does it play on peaceful? Which would imply that bats... It's way too technical to explain. I might just have to look this up. A command block. Oh, it has to do with lazy chunks. Okay. I was also seeing, a com like, you can use command blocks to do it. Stuff like that. No vanilla. Command blocks are technically vanilla. Just, you have to use console commands to get to them. It's also weird, Minecraft doesn't have like a proper developer console, it's just like a command line. I think that could be a little more robust. You can assemble all mobs if you transport a few hundred living shulker boxes to the spawn. Command blocks are the unity of Minecraft. That's a fair, yeah that's fair. Yeah, it's more like the game maker. Like, Game Maker Studio, it's like... Yeah, this thing could technically do what you want. Um, it probably won't work. Yeah, technically it could. There's nothing stopping you from writing the entirety of Pokemon Red or Blue with command blocks. It might not work for quite a while and then suddenly decide to start working, but if that's the case, then we don't know what to tell you. Sure, you could build a full 3D game in Game Maker. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it can accept 3D models, I found out. Um, that's a little concerning, but you could build, like, a Doom clone. But the question then becomes, why would you do that? When you could just import all that stuff from like Unreal 4 or Unity and do it better. Also, if you want a really great example of what I'm talking about with um, like how weird it is to work in Unity, like look no further than the fact that Yacht Club wrote. There's somebody that writes a game engine in Factorio. That's that. That's a game. You're writing a game engine inside your game. Crazy. Um, but if you want an example of just, like, how ridiculous Unity is, Shovel Knight is a 3D game. And what it is, it's just a whole bunch of sprite layers that are, like, built in 3D space. And that's, that's a ridiculous solution, but I think it's actually kind of genius. Because working with Unity as, like, 2D branch is... Not worth it. I want up there. Although I need to be down here because there's probably going to be a skeleton. There you go, Mr. Skeleton. Get out of here. Wait a second. I can, I can just block this lava. Yeah. How about Minecraft inside of Minecraft? Weren't people working on that? Like a recursive Minecraft project? Using redstone? 
Or am I thinking something different? I thought there was talk of like a recursive Minecraft project. I don't want the jungle wood. I don't want... I don't need the gunpowder. I don't really need the cobblestone. So there's plenty of cobblestone here. I need to make a resource pack for either kid that replaces all the sounds in the game without H01 scientist screams or OO speak. Um, you don't need to do that. Hey, how's it going? I just had a heart attack because I fell down a hole, but it was it was safe. It's fine. Um, I don't even play with resource packs unless it's like I'm using SEUS, and I'm then I'm gonna find one that has like the the bump maps for. The blocks. So I want the game to look crunchy. An HL1 themed texture or resource pack would be kind of neat. Uh, maybe if it's just... <laughs> that seems like something Valve would have made when they were talking about potentially putting Minecraft on Steam. And then... You know who was like, no, I don't want Minecraft on Steam. It's like, I'd rather make my own Valve than work for Valve. It's like, yeah, sure. Problem, though. Turns out you really don't like being famous and would rather, would rather be racist. What a man. So glad that Jab and Hatsune Miku are doing a better job at running Minecraft. There we go. This is gonna cave in this mine, isn't it? No. Am I too high? I'm too high up for diamonds, so we'll leave that. 22, 21. I'm legitimately perplexed that the texture pack and shader that simulates RTX retracing legitimately requires a 1080 Titan to even kind of hit like 60 FPS. SEUS, I've heard, runs all right. I mean, granted, 60 FPS, and it, it depends on the resolution. For the stream, we played at 1600 by 900 at 30 FPS, and I've got a 970M, which is these days like barely a mid range card. Don't. If you're wondering, asking creepers to not actually doesn't work. Also, the, the, the path tracing shader doesn't support RTX. They're looking into it, but at the moment it doesn't. My friend has a 1070 Ti and it's running at like 50, 60 const constant FPS at the at the highest settings is the thing. You can turn down some of those settings and it's still going to look pretty good. Like I turned down the shadow resolutions to like half and that that's a big boost to frame rate. There's ways to make that work. I'm like, if you're going to play with that kind of stuff, I might as well go balls to the wall. I guess. But, like, also, like, just the novelty of Minecraft looking like that was enough for me. And, like, I think, I think the, the big problem that I have with that is we're currently in this, like, graphical arms race that we really can't, like, nobody is going to win in. Like, except for, like, the Bitcoin company. Bitcoin company might not be the right word, but... Like, all these video cards are being bought out for, like... Like, mining. And they're using that to, like... They're using the Bitcoin mining as a means to put in all these, like, features. And then they try to sell it as, like, well, they're graphical upgrades. 
but then they're like very few games ever support them and they just don't work well the bitcoin company is this elon musk it might be they're definitely not a company but like like whoever is like driving the bitcoin like mining stuff the cryptocurrency mining They've been a huge reason why video cards have become like 800 bucks to like $1,600. When like, did I just destroy that torch? I might have. When, it not, when we've never really had this problem in the past. I mean, video cards could be expensive. But like, compared to like, then, they're way more expensive now. And like... On one hand, yeah, you're doing we're doing things like the ray tracing, we're doing things like global illumination. But also people are just buying them. Imagine if Bitcoin mining was like Microsoft Word, you have five hundred something bitcoins and suddenly the power goes out and you're back to nothing. Honestly, imagine if money was imagine if money was a thirty two bit signed integer and when it became too much, it overflowed and looped back around to where you owe people billions of dollars instead of having billions of dollars. It feels awkward to talk about this because the strongest GPU I've ever had was a GT730. It's like, I totally get it. My hat in the ring is that this was never a problem. Like, like, the cost of video cards was never this big of a problem until like very recently and it's because of cryptocurrency mining and people using video cards to do their mining and now people are trying to use like ram people are trying to use like solid state they're trying to find a way to commodify these like people are trying to find a way to like commodify PC components more than they already are commodified and the end result is the technology now becomes too expensive for the average consumer and I can actually see this kind of regressing um, PC gaming because it's like people aren't going to be able to afford the high-end video cards so people are going to play on like medium low settings and it's going to get to the point where for me, everything's a problem because I kid you not, for like four or five months before this laptop came out, I had to use a Semperon 140, which is a slow one core CPU from 2008. I can imagine. Um, I used to play Minecraft on a compact Braserio laptop whose processor speed was still clocked in megahertz. The Wandering Trader is good because of that. There is now a sky block with only tree and dirt. Well, I have less of a problem with it for a long time because I played on low. But it's like I can actually see like cryptocurrency doing a number to the ability for people to play PC games. And it's going to either kill the market share or games are going to have to become lower spec to accommodate the fact that fewer and fewer people have access to the higher end video cards. I legitimately see this becoming a problem. Aren't there cards just for mining? Yes. Ooh, there we go. Hey, buddy. I couldn't even try to install it because half the Linux distros wouldn't even work on my PC in the first place. Yeah. Sounds about right. Right, let's go back and get that diamond. I'm gonna hope it's more than just one. Oh, it's like, oh, good. Oh, we need more. I'm just gonna dig around real quick and look around. Uh oh, we can't pick it up. Red rock, get rid of it. Gray rock, get rid of it.
I mean, you could also go back to the surface. I could. But we're diamond mining. And now we have room for diamonds. Just live there now. All right. There was something over here, too, that I wanted to investigate. Uh, are we still at diamond level? Nah, just barely. Just barely not, rather. Uh-oh, we're out of lapis room. Um, here comes a dumb thought. We'll just slap that there for now. It's like, I don't know. Like, but like, there, like, anyways, there's like this like video card arms race that I think is really dangerous, and it's like people want the most, and it's like we can just try to find a balance. And, and it's even hitting the console market too in a weird way because it's like Borderlands Three only runs at 60 FPS on Xbox One X and PS4 Pro and PC. And it's like it, that doesn't need to be. You guys can like cut the texture of the model quality a little bit. And let people play it at 60 FPS. It's like, you're already going to make like a low and a medium and a high and an ultra version. Just do that. But for PC. Or console. And then it's like, you can pick between like... You can pick between like... I mean, there's also the fact that developers legit stopped properly optimizing stuff. And now they're just pumping out as much as possible. Oh yeah, there's... Th we did a whole talk about that at um, uh, in one of the streams, where we talked about the fact that... Ooh, that's going to kill me. There we go. Uh, we talked about the fact that, like, Titanfall had, like, 60 gigs of audio for no reason other than it's uncompressed audio. And then Doom has, like, gigabyte-wide textures because they don't optimize the textures. It's like Payday except AAA. It's it's the Starbreeze method, but the problem is companies with actual money are doing it instead of companies with fake money. Like, Bo Anderson, let's just be real, was like a triple icon artist. He fooled everybody into thinking, like... I mean, he effectively fooled everybody in, into believing that... Oh, audio is so bad. Doom is a big map size uh, because it's just one giant texture. Yeah... But, like, notice, like, when it comes to, like, the Switch version, and I'm not saying the Switch version of Doom is perfect, but they fit that whole game in, like, 10 gigs. Or, like, 13 gigs. It's a quarter of its original size. And it's, like, if we all just, like, chilled, games could still be reasonable file sizes. Whoa. Oh, we're cut, we're back here. Okay, three diamonds, forty-four. Okay, yeah, that's probably good enough. What are we at? Two minutes and fifty. Don't make gigas noises at me. There are games that can be measured in bytes. I totally believe it. Especially things like you know, like text adventures. I don't remember the file size for Counterfeit Monkey, but that's like a 20-hour text adventure, and it can fit on a floppy disk. I know that much. And then the, there's also games that are 96 kilobytes that are like a 3D shooter. Yeah, like... There's this, like, arms race to make everything bigger and more, like, dynamic than the last... But there's also this other side to the coin that, like, nobody really seems to be, like, caring about. Technology's getting to the point where, like, you can just build, like, a super optimized 3D engine that can run on, like, anything. And it's just, like... Like, hardware limitations really spawn, like, a golden age of game development. Because it's like, the original System Shock ran like garbage because it was trying to do like a full 
the 3D engine. In an era where... Did I just loop? Yes. What the heck? Hey, man. There you go. I, I, I like small and compact, but I love small laptops and like dumb legacy devices, which if I want to collect things like Lenovo ThinkPads and such. You are playing with danger. I just need to get back up there. Ooh, that is not a smart uh, design decision. There we go. But like, like hardware limitations really kind of spawn like a golden age of game design because it's like you have to build around that. The original System Shock was a full 3D game that ran like garbage. So the the second game accomplished so much more with so much less, pretty much out of necessity. Crisis One is kind of the antithesis of what I'm talking about. That was a game that was like swimming. An opulence. It's like this is a game that only started becoming like feasible to run on consumer grade hardware. Like, uh oh. Uh, but like, this is a game that only started becoming feasible to run on like consumer grade hardware, not even like gaming computers, a couple years ago. What is your opinion on laptop companies? Uh, who? It is a little bit of a loaded question, but it's more in just like how vague of a question that it is. It's like Asus makes good laptops. I use, oh, like, I have an, an Asus laptop. And if I can get inside, I could literally hold it up to the camera. Actually, no, I can't. It's locked to the desk. But, wait. This is going to mess up things. I don't have to play with the camera again, but look, it's a laptop. Lenovo, HP, Dell, Apple, Asus. Okay, that's like more like, that becomes like, what are your opinions on these companies? And in order, you do not have to rest now. There are monsters nearby. We got the message. Okay. Okay. Like, this just kind of becomes like a straight shot across. Thank you. You made me hate this conversation now. No problem. Uh, Lenovo is a company I really don't work with. I, I just... They're not a company I ever, like... Like, when I'm thinking I'm going to buy a computer, I never think, I like, Lenovo is part of this race. For some reason. Um... HP computers kind of suck because they're loaded with, like, garbage you don't need, like media centers and print assisters. It's like, nobody needs this. Stop doing that. Um, Dell is kind of the same way. But Dell does mostly workstations now. When they try to do, like, high-end stuff, it's just never that good. I don't like Apple, I don't like Apple devices. I have an iPhone SE. And this is really about it. This is probably like where the buck stops with my Apple stuff. I just I think their computers are too flimsy. They don't have enough ports for me. They're not powerful enough for the things I want to do. And the things like everybody like associates like a Macintosh with, you can do on PC just as well now. I like Asus. Um, they're starting to. They're starting to do a lot of the bloatware. This came with like a weird like gamer center that I just never use. And whenever I press it, it slows the computer down to a crawl. It eats up a bunch of RAM. I don't know how to disable it. I could just uninstall it, I guess. And Vio, I've n I have never seen a Vio computer like in the wild. Which would probably tell me a lot about the... Uh... This isn't bamboo. Lolcat talk. You lied to me. It's a sugar cane. Don't 
Don't shoot me. Apple should have some merit with the Mac OS if it could be installed on other devices. I don't know. Maybe. I just don't think it's a very good... <coughs> I just don't think it's a very good operating system. I mean, it's super lightweight, which is like, I, okay, I guess that's a plus. It is a super lightweight operating system, but like everything about the like Apple design is form over function, even when it comes to like the operating system. It's like everything's like a tiny little button that you have to click. Either way, everything from Lenovo and Vio, because they've always put usability first and design second. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Most of the reason I have an Asus is just because we've had good, we, we, we got good luck with Asus. Um, cause we used to be an HP only family and that, that sucked. That, that straight up sucked. But, um, it got to the point where, what was it? Oh, we had like one of like the HP Phoenix computers. Like one of the, like, I think they're called like the HP Phoenix or something like that. But they're like the high end, like, gamer computers. And it stopped working. And the computer that HP was going to give us was not even comparable. It's a shiny magic book. Never break one. Um, it was not even comparable. It had like half the specs and they were just going to be like, yeah, this is equivalent. And we called them out on that and they're like, well, no, we think it's equivalent. So we're going to say it's equivalent. And we kind of just gave up and we switched to Asus. And Asus, we had no problems. Everything ran pretty well. And customer service with Asus, other than once. And like the once was not even bad. It was just weird. Um, like they were accommodating towards me for my uh, laptop's warranty, but they weren't, again, not bad, just weird. <laughs> Dealing with them was weird. They wanted like my password for things in case they had to like log in and they never had to. They were like, you might want to make a backup because we're going to have to wipe the computer and they never did. I got it back, I pulled it out of the box, and it was still my cloaker screensaver, and I changed my password for nothing, and now I can't change it back. Cool. Um. No. 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 Alright, let's get... More cows. And more sheep. Alright. The reason why Macs are useful, the only reason why you should use them is because Final Cut Pro is like top notch for video editing. And that's literally it. But you can make a Hackintosh for half the value and get so much more out of it. It's like, I guess. But Premiere is also pretty good. And Premiere, I mean, well, Premiere's getting weird because it's the, the doubling the price of the Adobe Suite. Again, for some reason. But, like, Vegas is okay. Um, DaVinci Resolve, I've heard pretty good things about. I've used it, but it didn't work with any of the codecs I use. Um, HP and Dell are what I call old man companies, because people only buy them because they've been around for a while, versus the, uh, since, like, the Optiplex days and such, and they're just everywhere. They're also just good no-nonsense workstations. If you're like, hey, we need 30 computers. Dell is going to be like, yeah, we got 30 workstations. Uh, Asus is just kind of in the middle, but then there's Lenovo, and I'm specifically talking about the ThinkPad line. Since the IBM days... In my opinion, ThinkPads have been the best possible laptops, not because they had uh, functional perform, but because they were so much more compatible with everything. They've got ports, and they just were made to last. They're the easiest repair and upgrade. They're basically the most future-proof laptop, in my opinion. But yeah, Final Cut Pro is just way more comfortable, and believe me, the render times are literally abysmal. Whose cookie policy? Oh, Minecraft forms. I still have them open. Okay.
fix it and name it. Oh, lol, cat speak. Oh, can I take one of these down without breaking it? Yes. What are you called? Scary Banhor. Clan Cyan Lozenge Light Grey Beze. Grey Pal. Oh, my goodness. That's. I'm just gonna put that one back. Jeez. Got a little campfire to make all the smoke. Uh, field done? Almost. It's getting there. The thing that bothers me, um, can you capture the illagers and enslave them? I mean, I guess you, eh. It would be the equivalent of, like, what you can do with, um. Okay, what is this stuff called? Actually, that's a great question. Green stick? So sugarcane is bamboo, but bamboo is green stick. You built an iMac Pro yourself, the 5K screen and everything, it costs, like, <coughs> Two and a half thousand dollars. The Mac sold by Apple is 5k, so you're literally paying twice the price. Yes. Macintosh has always cost double of, like, what it should cost. That's, their, like, literally their entire, like, strategy. Like, their old catchphrase used to be, does more, costs less. But nowadays, it's more like, costs more, does less. It's because they can do it. Because Apple's a fashion company, and I think a lot of people don't like, like, get that. You have to treat Apple like a fashion company. It's like, <coughs> yeah, this thing has literally no ports, but you can bend it in half if you close it hard enough. Like that's. Ooh, we have a kerfuffle that I need to read. Give me a second. Charge it in the microwave. I kid you not, I built a laptop using Linux for a friend. I made it look exactly like Mac OS, and he, and he didn't notice it for actual weeks. Wow. And, like, ugh. the thing that bothers me is I was in a class. It was an illustrator. The iPhone 5C was such a meme because Apple was jewelry at that point, and who would buy plastic jewelry? Exactly that, like... Like, a, a convenience Apple product is kind of an oxymoron. And then it doesn't do well because the people who buy Apple... Like, I mean, I don't mean to say the people who buy Apple products, but a lot of the people who buy Apple products buy them for the... Don't you do that. You buy them for the stat... Like, it's a status symbol, in a way. It's like, yeah, I have the iPhone XS. It's literally called the iPhone XS. Like, there you go. Like, I can't stress that enough. I think, like, in the past, Steve Jobs probably, like, it felt like Steve Jobs meant well. They just weren't, like, great. I also have a thing, a uh, bone to pick with Apple, because Mac OS is so limited that it makes people tech illiterate compared to anything else. Yeah. That's also just like the hardware design philosophy of Apple. It's like everything's, like nothing is meant to be popped open because then that ruins the appeal of an Apple product. It's like everything's its own little self-contained little pod. And it's like, I guess for some people, if that's what you're into, then sure. But there's this other like problem where it's like, if you need to upgrade a Mac, you bu you have to buy a new Mac. If you need to upgrade your, like, ThinkPad, you can pop it open, you can find where the hard drive is, you can take out the hard drive, put in a replacement hard drive, because they're the same size. Because they're standardized sizes. You can, you know, you can take the ribbon cable that attaches the screen to the, the panel, you can remove that, you can put in a new screen. My older brother just repaired an HP laptop he got at a a foreclosure auction. And he bought like he bought a new screen, he bought a new keyboard, and he refurbished this thing. 
you really can't do that with an Apple product. And it's kind of because they don't want you to do that with an Apple product. A company should always work to benefit the customer and not inconvenience them as the current industry is heading towards inconveniencing the customer, which is why I love Lenovo and devices of the past. It's not even like inconveniencing the customer. It's, tr it's, it's almost coercion in a way. It's like you trick people into thinking they need a thing. It's like, hey, we have an, uh, an 8K Ultra OptiRes screen or whatever you want to call it. But it's like, it, it's like a tiny, like, oh, God. I think it was one of the phones that had a 4K screen. But it's like this big. And you're not going to notice a, a 4K screen. Ver blast processing. Thank you, Fish. Um, but you're not going to notice that. I didn't even know this was not 1080p until like two weeks ago. Like, they had me fooled. It can shoot 1080p video, and it looks decidedly different compared to 720p video. So I just assumed it was a 1080p screen. It's not. Um, it's like a, like a it's, I want to say it's like a 1600 by 900 or something dumb. It's something dumb. But, like, like, they try to, like, like, I mean, fish hit it right on the head. Blast processing is probably a perfect example. I worked in tech repairs, like uh, Microsoft soldering and the stuff, and Apple's legit scamming people at this point. Normally a fuse would be the first thing to blow on a board, but I kid you not, 99% of the time it's a chip or a capacitor that blew instead because great design. Yeah. They're, oh, God. They got in trouble, like, legal trouble over planned ops, um, like, making objects, like, ha almost have, like, expiration dates. It's It's got a, it's got a name. I, I know the name. I can't say the name. Planned OB, yes, obsolescence. There we go. I had to read it. Um, they got in like, trouble because like, they were doing that on purpose, and they openly admitted to doing it, but they tried to say it was to drive the costs down, which doesn't make sense considering the fact that their phones are like $1,500. And it's like, if it's really driving the cost down, ooh, whoa. You said it right. Yeah, I had to read it in order to say it. I can think of the words. I can't think of the letters that make up the words. Um, but they openly admitted that their phones and their computers are designed with planned obsolescence in mind because... And they tried to, like, they tried to pass it off as like a cost-cutting measure, but that, only, that doesn't work when you're selling a computer for $1,000. And that $1,000 is going to a computer that isn't as good. Yeah, they're not worth what you pay for. And to get a cheaper computer that you can upgrade easier just makes a whole lot more sense. But there's a lot of people in the world who swear by Mac. And it's like, I guess. But then, like, to say, like, oh, well, PC's ripping you off. Or whatever. I was in a class that required use of a Mac. Not at all, no. Handheld device should cost upwards of $1,000. Welcome, Dan. Did you figure out your project? I take it. It's all, Yeah, it's also false advertisement. Did you figure it out or are you taking a break? Yeah, my disastrous project is done. That's nice to hear. Uh, Dan, would you want to... I mean, we've been live for three, almost three and a half hours. But would you want to co-com for this last, like, half an hour or so? I'll just type... Okay, Dan, send me here in the chat. Welcome, Dan. Welcome to chat. Um, I'm playing with lolcat speak, and it's making people upset. One of the first advertised full body design was not even one piece of aluminum. It was two pieces glued together, and they made it so the heat from the CPU blew straight on the glue, so it literally melted the glue, and the screen would fall off. That's a good design, fellas. Just be glad, like, Apple never got in, like, the pizza business. Hi, Dan. Again, with the, with the quotes. 
Dan's a real person. You could, like, Dan's... Go watch the channel trailer for Source Code. Dan's, like, physically in that. Or the vlog! Dan's in the vlog! Go watch the vlog we did. Where we went to the museum. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. Ooh, buried treat finder. Yeah. This is paper. Papyrus, you... Mm. Okay, yeah, Law Cat Talk made me upset with that. <laughs> Apple would make golden crusted pizza. I wasn't even thinking that. They would find, although they would find a way to make pizza inedible, yes. And then they'd try to, like, spin it. It's like, well, our design is about the, the stylistic connotations. There we go. Uh, the legit gave you a warranty for the pizza. You get sick one day after the warranty runs out. New recipes unlocked. I can check my recipe. Yay. I think we're just gonna play Minecraft like this now, guys. I think it's... It's, it's not good, but boy howdy, is it fun. Ooh, we should check our buried treat finder. Ooh, we're actually almost there. Jason's on a roll since he walked in. We've been, we, we've been talking this like apple kerfuffle. I don't even remember how we got on the topic, but we did. Oh, it was talk about laptops. And I said, yeah, I don't really care for Apple all that much. And then it started this. They have a MacBook Pro, which has an i9, but they have no coding on the slender design, so it legit has no noticeable boost over the i7 model, and it's like a thousand more dollars. That sounds about right. We're gonna try to put this beach back together once I find the treasure. It's gotta be somewhere in here. I think what I also might do is I might expand the shore a little bit. The legit thermal throttles in like 10 seconds in Final Cut Pro and I've tested on a customer's laptop. It is, it, it is legitimately distressing, like, in my opinion, it's distressing, like, the degree at which Apple's kind of messed up how to make a computer. It's like your escape key is a touchpad that's also a screen. So now there's a screen that can go bad that can also be your escape button. Ooh, there it is. Uh-oh. Fifty four hundred RPM hard drives on the thirteen hundred dollar laptops. That sounds like something. <laughs> I've upgraded my hard drive in this laptop, but I don't remember specs like that. Like the speed at which the hard drive turns. Here we go. Heart of Dis... I'm gonna assume... I'm gonna assume it's not a very good... Whoa! I can only assume that 15400 is either dangerously like too fast or just play not good. Knowing Apple, it's probably just not good. Ah, here we go. ThinkPad T440, T440P, and it's a refurb, but it has a 7200 RPM. Yeah, there we go. Those are numbers like I was thinking. Mm -hmm. 
I was waiting for numbers like those. Oh, I really screwed up this beach. We're almost, we're almost fixed. Fix the beach. Operation Beach Fix. Okay. Uh, Heart of the Sea. 5400 is like the lowest you can get now in hard drives. Hard disk drives, rather. Yeah. That sounds like that Apple quality. Or lack thereof. Um, I mean, okay, so like, if you use Apple, that's whatever. You do you. Just... <laughs> There's better options. I never, yeah, I never found out why Unity builds give me Android errors on a Windows build, but that's over with now. Cheap, uh, cheap Kingston solid state can do so 500 for like 60 bucks for 500 gigabytes of storage. Yeah. Ugh. All right, we should probably head, head home. Nice though that that sunken treasure was that this close to the, uh... Don't. Actually, do I, still, do I still have speed potion? I might use a speed potion. I do. Eight minutes sped. There we go. There are a lot of creepers in there. Feel the sped. Rotato faster banana. Not for cats. It's water. Cats can drink water. One thing you can... the so Oh yeah, uh, they're talking about redesigning Sonic for the Sonic movie. My worry is that they're going to force a whole bunch of people to crunch and it's still going to look bad at the end. But also, like, the big question is... They wouldn't have had this problem if they would have brought the movie like, focus groups. Like, you find the people in the demographic you want to hit. So in this case, like, kids and teens. And you show them the trailer... Or you just show them test footage of your Sonic the Hedgehog model. And you ask them questions like, do you like this? Would you trust this character? Would you go on an adventure with this character? And when they all come back, no, because your design is ugly as sin. Then you can be like, well, now we need to fix it. And then you ask kids what they don't like about it. You ask them what they do like about it. And you fix it. They wouldn't have run into this problem if they would have just gone to a focus test group. Jesus! But it's also, like, the executive's fault. None of the animators set out to make an accursed human teeth to Sonic. What probably happened was it was, like, a whole bunch of artists were getting conflicting information from the executives. And the end result was they kind of just turned in the most sterile, human-esque design they could. And then marketing was like, sure. We need to get rid of something so we can stairs. Did none of those cows drop leather? No. I need to I need to catch up with the chat, but I'm currently moving. Yeah, they're not dropping leather. All right, for my reference, uh, friends, X220 filled 20 gigabytes. Uh, Sonic movie is whack. Sincerely terrifying. I'm basically an adult and it scares me. Well, they're wor working to make Sonic not be scary, so rejoice. Or not. Uh, um, even memes on the internet look better. Someone put the the genie face from Aladdin on it looked better. Honestly, I don't mind them trying to do a more realistic design. But Sonic needs to look not like a kid in footy pajamas. 
And because he's supposed to be, like, from another, like, like, reality, you're not bound to human design principles. Like, Jim Carrey's Robotnik has finally grown on me. I can accept that he looks like a young Joseph Stalin. It's whatever. It's still Jim Carrey doing what he does best, overacting. Um, it's a humanoid hedgehog. How do you want to make that more realistic? Just give him big eyes at the very... Joseph Stalin genie. Ooh, the snow is pretty. Where's my house? Where's my house? I've got to be getting close. I need the steak. Robotnik looks like Stalin and Sonic is capitalism. What worries me is Jim Carrey has kind of become a family-friendly Stalin stand-in. And what I mean by that is he picked a fight with Mussolini's granddaughter and he looks like a young Joseph Stalin in the Sonic movie, which implies that Jim Carrey is part of the Allied Powers. We can trust him. That implies that Sonic is part of the Axis powers. Hey, cool, my house despawned. Come on. Figure it out. Oh, no, that's not my house. There's my house. Gotta go around. The chunks not loading is not... I was blanking out for a second and I returned with Sonic as part of the Axis powers. So, Jim Carrey in the Sonic movie looks like um, Stalin. He picked a fight with Mussolini. This makes uh, Jim Carrey part of the Allied powers. That's fine. But that would then make Sonic, Robotnik's into, um, who Robotnik is trying to fight, part of the Axis powers, which is decidedly much... Less fine. As a history nerd, as a history nerd, this made me spit out my drink. Yeah. It's like I don't know. I think just as a whole, as a species, we've jumped the shark. You know. Like, that's the best way I can, I can describe what's happened here. Is, as a society, we jumped the shark. I mean, I get it. We live in a society. Uh, we need to go back. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. Maybe we go back to, like, I don't know, 2008. To lolcat time. Oh, what do you know? We're already here. Uh, we need to put away the other fishing rod. Or wait, I could build the two together, can't I? Uh, that's gonna cost shiny level two. Could you not? <laughs> I mean, I could not. But also, it's just fun to could. You know? Ooh. Don't. Don't. What? He turned into big chungus and then just stared me down. What? That was actually off-putting. How many cows we got? A ah, decent amount of cow. Um... Dan, you're gonna you're gonna like to know that Charles the cow is still alive, and the reason you'd like to know that is because I've killed like six other cows. Don't make me go full Aussie. Oh, we can go we can go Australian. Hold on, we we can talk your language. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Yeah, there's Australian in this game. Um, let's just get it loading, and we can. I did not consent to this. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. 
Australian talk. What do you know? This has been a fun stream. I don't know about you guys. I have had fun. I'm not even Australian. <laughs> you know, let's just re let's just eat some speeps. Look, look at this. Look at that. It's fun. Hey, 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 it's fun. My constant blabbering truly made this an experience. It did. You've made this a... F Where did my fishing rods go? Oh, I see. You've made this a fun stream, Jason. We've truly talked everything. Sonic movie, wall cats. Um, we did some Shakespearean for a while. Do VODs get saved like on Twitch? Yeah, my VODs are saved on Twitch for 60 days. Um, 60 days on Twitch, and then I upload them to YouTube later. Just stream VOD, and then the name of the stream. So, um, the last Minecraft stream is probably going to come out later, t like, tonight or tomorrow. Um, and then this one should be out, it'll probably be, like, the end of the weekend or Monday. Wait, there's probably another stream that needs to get done, too. <gasps> Ooh! Oh god, I don't know if this is gonna like read on the little on the little cam uh oh. I don't know if this is gonna read on the camera. My dad's gonna go meet a friend, and this might become our new our new dog. Um So Ika was our last dog, and she unfortunately passed away in October. That's why I made uh Dog Recreation Public. I miss Ika a lot. Um she's appeared in a couple of my dreams since and she's in uh on the 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 the, the stream or on discord one of the emotes and my dad's gonna go meet this german shepherd oh my goodness her oh my goodness So we might have a new, uh, a new, um, Sherman Shepherd friend. That, that's one word for it. That's now on the screen. Ooh, that's now on the screen. I just, I like puppy. Big dog! Big dog, big dog. Heck yeah. Dog stream when? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna put my phone over here so it stops making the buzzing noise on the desk. Um, oh god. Oh my goodness. There might be dog recreation too. Ah! Dog recreation too, lost in New York. Dude, when I was nine, I had like eight giant dogs, several German Shepherd breeds. Ooh, giant. The bigger the dogs, the bigger the dog. <laughs> wait, wait, no. The bigger the dog, the better the dog. I kid you not, they ran over me every time and I wanted to hug them. The dogs are good. I can. Ike and I had a rough, like, first, like, couple years. She she bit me because I would swing, and she didn't like that I swung. But then, like, we found a, sh uh, a shared interest in fetch. And, um... She became my friend. And she let me, like, pet her and mess with her. And she wouldn't let any, like, other people do what I was doing to her to her. That sounds weird, but it's like, I could like, like, roll her over onto her side. And she wouldn't care. You try to do that to her, like, anybody else, like my older brother. <laughs> you don't, you throw a ball, I don't maul. Yeah. But it's like, anybody else tried to, like, like, roughhouse with her, like, how I would roughhouse with her. And they'd, she'd, she'd snap at them. Ika was good, Pop. Um, a little feisty, a little, little, uh, a little spicy. But that's fine. I like spicy. Not foods. But that dog, that dog had a spicy personality. And I didn't mind. Um, my dad's going to go meet this German Shepherd. Um, 
My dad's meeting this German Shepherd Monday, and we'll know then whether, you know, like, she gets along with my father, things like that. And if everything goes well, then uh, not this coming weekend. That'll be the 10th. The weekend after. So not this coming weekend, but the weekend after. So not this weekend. I'm counting Friday, Saturday, Sunday as my weekend because those are the days I have off of school. This weekend. Next weekend, I'm still up here. The weekend after I'm going home, and I hope then I get to meet this pup. And if I do, there will be pictures. Um, I'll try to get some video of pup, and we will meet the new pup. And we might make new pup uh, Discord emote. Ooh, this, is, this has been a good stream. We had wall cat, we had upside down, we had so much good. This has been a mighty fine good stream. But I think, yeah, that's already four o'clock. I might, oh, I think I'm probably gonna go grab dinner and work on midterm needs to be done. I also need to upload some stuff for group projects. So this might, ooh, we got a message from Dan. A simulation. Ooh, ooh, an itch game. Okay. Uh. <laughs> ooh. Dan made a game and it's 30 it's 30 megs. Uh, I don't think I'm going to end the stream with that just because I want to run through it once myself. Respect Dan's privacy in case any actual names are with that are in it. But Dan made game. Also, I think this might be the end of the stream anyways. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to have Dan give us some closing words. Dan, if you're still if you're still watching the stream, um, throw some closing words in chat and we can read them aloud and end the stream with, um, some words of wisdom. Because as we all know, Dan's got better words of wisdom than I do. My words are kind of like a mustard falling out of the mustard bottle. His are like mayonnaise. It's cohesive. He words better than I can word, but I word more. Hope you enjoyed the game and glad I got to stick around for the disaster speak about Apple and lolcats. All right. I mean, we did some. We got a bunch of obsidian. We have an enchantment room, so we can start making enchantments and enchanted books. Um, do I actually have more books or no? No, I need more leather. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to make a whole bunch of books now because I'm gonna have to kill a bunch of cows, and I can level up again. Because I, uh, oh god, what do they call it? I need, I need to go back to language. We gotta go back to this one because they call it something weird. And I, I, I just, I, I, I said it out loud while we were okay. Ah, my Galdercraft. We have to get my Galdercraft back. There we go. All right. Yep, near and keeping world. One player, many player, end game. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, wow, okay. I think I messed up the camera. There we go. All right, so how are we going to end this stream? We started the stream with now word. Can we end the stream with now word? I mean, I guess I could. This was a nightmare, and I love it. Well, I'm, I'm glad you did. Thanks for showing up. You know what? At the, at the, at the risk of accidentally muting the back half of this VOD. We're going to play Now Word's new song, um, which made it into uh, A Hat in Time, which is like the first game that his music has made it into because every single game he's worked on has been canceled. <laughs> oh, poor Now Word. He's almost got 10,000 subs. I almost have as many subs as Now Word. That makes me feel weird because um, his music's been heard by a whole lot more people. <laughs>
And in case you're wondering, all of Nellward's music is like that. Um, I don't want to say it all sounds the same, but it all kind of has a very similar sound. It's good. I don't know how to describe it. It's fun. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for the stream. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for... Um, uh, now we can't... Um, <laughs> I don't even have a lolcat joke to end this on. <laughs>